Bathtub Thoughts with Joe Mike. Sometimes I wonder if my wife is right and a 3D printer is just a glorified hot glue gun. You know, I wonder whose YouTube channel and whose videos Tom watches when he gets stuck. Huh. Both 2D and 3D printers have a spool. Technically, if you think about it, was the first food 3D printer. Sometimes I'm worried that I have memory loss due to ABS fumes. I would be able to get memory loss from ABS fumes. Rep rep project. Now that is a cool thing. I have nine three D printers now. At this point, I think it's a full blown addiction. I'm in trouble. You know, the 3D printing community is probably the best community I've ever been a part of. And also live from YouTube, it's Friday night. <laughs> Welcome everybody to the Friday night 3D printing community hangout. Um, so we wanted to do something a little bit special. Hopefully that all worked out properly. Um, I want to thank Joe Mike for our official intro. Um, sorry for the lag on the video and uh, some of the, the winging it to do the intro, but um, thanks for Joe Mike for the effort. And we'll get that video up uh, separate as well so that people can go ahead and see it unlaggy. Um, that was some technical difficulties on my end. So it is the one year uh anniversary well tomorrow officially is the one year anniversary for the friday night 3d printing community hangouts um and tonight we've got a bunch of special guests a few faces that we haven't seen in a little while um we're gonna go down through the line here and do our introductions um for everybody joining us that's streaming um just a little bit of who you are uh where everybody can find you what kind of things you do and um I'll move down through the list. We're going to start off with the uh, four other people who helped start the Friday Night 3D Printing Community Hangouts unknowingly a year ago. Um, so let's go ahead and we'll start with Heather. Oh, don't start with me. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm Heather uh, on pretty much everything. I think it's DD Heather. And you probably know me better as the 3D Pink Mafia. Uh, I am on the YouTube channel with my husband, a pyro design and, uh, Ooh, sorry. Can you guys see me? Okay. Anyway. Uh, yeah. My, uh, my husband's channel is a pyro design. That's Travis and our daughter Ari and we're going to Murph. Sorry. I just had to throw that in there. <laughs> so yes, that's me. I'm excited to be here. All right, and next up we have, I'm not sure which name she's going by tonight, but we have Laura, Summer, and Lauren <laughs> on the same stream. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll go by Lauren tonight, you know, the, the original. <laughs> um, so I am Lauren from Buzz Designs, and uh, I'm a Buzz Designs on Twitter, and 
uh, YouTube and Instagram and also a buzz about ears on Instagram. Um, I am the all around glitter everything lover, the crazy coffee table creator and the Mickey Mouse ear lover. That's me. All right, and next up we have Tessa. Howdy. Um, well, I'm Spuckyface5 on all the social networks that you can find me on. That's definitely me. I don't think anyone else has stolen my name yet, which is good. <laughs> um, I do live streaming on Twitch, and uh, I used to do a fair bit on YouTube, but that's sort of winding down. I'll still be putting videos on YouTube, but mostly I'll be over at Twitch. And I'm very active on Twitter. And Vicky's going to be joining us. She's currently at a birthday party. Um, and I believe we um, also have Tessa's birthday today. So if everybody wants to wish her a happy birthday in the chat as well. She was nice enough to spend some of her evening with us, or I guess morning with us. <laughs> Actually, over here, my birthday was yesterday. Um, so one of the great things about having friends all over the world is that your birthday lasts for two days. <laughs> <laughs> all right um so like i said vicky's going to be joining us she's at her sister's birthday party so um we'll go down through we've got quite a few of the regulars on the stream here tonight as well um we'll start out or continue with chris oh hi i'm uh, chris russell from practical printing um i do practical things and sometimes some very impractical things like uh SLA Harry lines. And um, recently I have a fetish for um, light switch covers. So that's me in a nutshell. Or just All in right. a nutshell, either way. Next up, we have our bathtub star. <laughs> I guess that's me. That's you. Um, <laughs> I apologize for the laggy video. That hot tub was just really hot, and I was really slow. Um, Joe Mike Terranella and uh, crap, I'm blinking. Yeah, I'm Joe Mike Terranella pretty much everywhere. Mojike on Twitter, Jay Terranella on the Instagram. Um, my YouTube channel is Joe Mike Terranella. Um, what the crap? Right now I'm soldering... Raspberry Pi Zero W's for 3DKC, which is my business for the Mark III uh, Prusa, and uh, I like to do things with things and other things with things. Back to you, Matt. <laughs> Next up, we have uh, Martin. Yeah, hi. I'm Martin, and I have a channel called 3DP Iceland. And I'm on Twitter as well as 3DP Iceland. I initially started printing out landscape models like this and, and painting them. And I've done several videos with, with those. But recently I've been testing out filaments and doing some project videos also on my, on my channel. So that's pretty much me. Um, All right. Thanks, Martin. Next up, we got Mitch. Mitch, we can't hear you. All right, we'll go ahead, let Mitch try to get his audio sorted out. We'll uh, jump over here to Richard. Hello, all. Uh, I'm Richard Murray. The channel is Zidim. Uh, all my links are uh, showing up down here at uh, Zidim. And uh, main area I'm looking at is 3D printing for model trains, although I tend to uh, be doing a lot of other things instead of trains. And I've been away for almost two months due to health issues but I'm slowly getting back into things and I'm not going to hang on for long tonight because it's also my birthday today. So I'm uh, getting back to some food shortly. Happy birthday Happy to you birthday. too, Richard. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next up we have John. Hi, this is John. Uh, my channel's You Do It. Got, uh, got some stickers printed. They're about five and a half inches. 
think uh, if you receive the print 3D channel, it's about the same size as his. Uh, so I'll be sending them out to everybody. Uh, I do 3D printing, making. Uh, I love LEDs, so I do a bunch of stuff with LEDs. So, but we'll get to me at a later point. We'll talk later. I'll let, uh, let the stream move on. All right, and we'll go back here to Mitch. You want to try again, Mitch? Yeah, I think I'm good, right? Go. Yep, now you're good. Okay. Um, yeah, my name is Mitch. Um, my YouTube channel is Mitch3D. Um, I'm also the Mitch22 on Twitter and Instagram. Um, and uh, I just like 3D printing. And uh, I've been really active on the CBCNC uh, Facebook group. And uh, I've been building some of the printers. And I'm, I'm working on a a project for uh, the Midwest Rep Rep Festival, which I'll be attending. And uh, we'll see how that actually turns out. So. All right. Thanks, Mitch. OK, so um, just real quick, since intros and we got started late and everything, um, there's a couple of things I want to announce before we really get started with everything. Um, first of all is you guys can see my custom made, self-made shirt uh, for the Friday night hangouts. There is official shirts as well. Um, this was just something I did screwing around. But um, as of today, this afternoon, over on Merch Minions website, the Friday night 3D printing uh, t-shirts and sweatshirts are, and actually also stickers, are available for, um, for purchase now. Um, throughout the night, I'm going to be dropping a link in the chat up until uh, I believe I have it set to turn off at 11.20 p.m. Eastern, so it gives it about an hour. Um, I'm also running a contest for people involved in the chat tonight and on the stream that you can um, enter through a Gleam giveaway to win one of the t-shirts at no cost to you. Um, so I'm going to post that in the chat right now. Um, make sure you guys get into it. Um, if you're interested in winning one of the shirts, the shirts will remain up for purchase. Um, originally, I was going to list the shirts with Merch Minion at no, what they call a um, creator's cut. So basically at the cost that Merch Minion charges to do the shirts. Um, but after talking to Joel a little bit, he recommended that we use the, that to charge a small creator's cut, um, on the shirts and the stickers that is going to go towards promotion of the stream. Um, and even though he doesn't know it yet, um, the sales of the shirts and uh, stickers are going to currently go to help pay for um, the time and uh, money that John is dedicating for Murph. And I see him shaking his head. No, 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 no. <laughs> um, well, the plan with it is, is that that money is going to go to marketing the Friday night hangouts. Um, so just to be fully open on that, on the t-shirts for every t-shirt purchase or sweatshirt, um, it's $2. And on the stickers, it's a dollar. Um, originally, like I said, I was going to do it without a creator's cut um, because I don't want to make any money off of this. This is a community thing. Um, but Joel had a really good point and him and I discussed it a little bit about using that money to market, um, to advertise for when we have Earth, Murph, um, and other events to be able to actually market the streams a little bit and hopefully help the stream grow and in turn help the community grow. Um, so as long as we have something going on where there's going to be marketing, then we're going to have the creators cut on the shirts and then other times throughout the year, they're they'll be at cost for Merch Minion. Um, but that money doesn't is not going directly to me. That's going off into a separate PayPal account that's going to be used to fund the Friday night hangouts, hopefully as we grow. So um, like I said, I'm going to be dropping the link in the chat and um, make sure you guys get entered. You will have to be in the chat to verify um, that you were watching the stream tonight in order to claim if you do win. So... Good luck to everybody. <laughs> um, the shorts be with you. What was that? <laughs> the shorts be with you. Yeah. Okay. So, 
tonight's topic is kind of looking at the last year since we started the Friday night streams and um, seeing what kind of what I wanted to go talk about is see what everybody's learned in the last year, whether you guys learned it from something we talked about on a stream or just other things that you've learned um, throughout the last year, creating content, 3D printing, um, and we can start down the line if you guys want to do it that way, like we usually do. I'd or actually just like wants to shout in out. real quick if we can. <laughs> yep. Just because uh, I got to go in a few minutes here. Go That's for okay it. okay with you? Yeah, go for it. All right. Well, it, it has been a great year. Because when I started uh, a year ago, didn't even know about the stream, but uh, didn't know anything about 3D printing. And we've uh, taken it from there to uh, being able to make sure I get the right uh, button here to uh, learning well with the FDM printing. For model trains, found out that uh, uh, I wasn't getting the results I uh, wanted, but uh, learned how to use the system and got into SLA printing with the Moy and uh, getting the results. And uh, the parts are looking good. The only thing is, thing is I mentioned I'm doing more practical printing objects for people who need parts made. And it's been a great learning experience. I've also been able to uh, get to, let's see, uh, there we go, this button over here. I've been learning all about streaming on here. Uh, to, so next technology, number of cameras have expanded. But uh, here's a file I'm starting to work on right now. And uh, this is a full body scan. It's unfortunate because I realize how much of a gut I have. But, that's cool. uh, <laughs> yeah, that's really cool. This was done at a booth at a comic expo, the Calgary Comic Expo. And uh, so uh, I'm going to be making use of that file for uh, my model trains. But uh, it, it's been a fun ride and I'm looking forward to what's happening or going to happen over the next year. Uh, as I said, I've been off for a couple of months now. I was on Wednesday. Brenna was here, so she waved to the camera as she was going through. Uh, she's still in the middle of moving and getting into the film business. But her significant other, uh, who's been in the 3D printing for a while, watched us, got into Fusion 360. The first thing he made was a pistol from Star Wars. I think the print involves something like 15 or 17 pieces, the very first thing he did on there. Hopefully I'll get some images for you. But she's working on that. And uh, uh, so uh, Superior Jello uh, hopefully will be back uh, on the program with us down the road as well. But a great group of people. I've learned a ton. Uh, Chris's series on the Moya printer has been wonderful. Uh, it really uh, helped me uh, get through setting up on there. And just a general chat, not only from uh, the various streamers that we're seeing here, but all the folks that are in the chat screen been getting great information uh, from them. And it is a wonderful community. So thanks all. Awesome. And with that, I'm going to run off. So <laughs> have a wonderful <laughs> night and congratulations on one year. Yep. Thanks for joining us, Richard. Yeah. Glad to be here. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> Feel better. Um, actually, there's something I did forget too. Uh, Lauren and Heather, did you guys open your packages yet? You can if you want to. <laughs> I didn't open it. Oh, I shouldn't show my address. No, I didn't <laughs> open it. <laughs> It has a very clear message. Do not open until 10 p.m. Eastern time. It's yeah, I got all excited because I went to go grab my mail. I was like, oh, sweet, I can open it. No. And I tried to con Lauren into telling me what was in it because I was still at work when she got hers. And she saw it. There's a note on it. It says don't open until 10 p.m. I'm like, dang it, Matt. Dang it. And here it is 1030. We lasted till 1030. I know. We're doing there pretty you go. good. And... So for everybody in the chat as they're opening these up, um, I did a little bit of a care package for the the original um, guests. That's so cool. So awesome. 
Mine's oh, still my. in the post. That is <laughs> really cool. Look at That's mine really so awesome. tiny compared That's to yours. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to stick those on my wall. That's exactly where mine is. Mine is... Uh, you can see it back there. Oh, it's a head hook. <laughs> yeah, it's perfect. <laughs> yeah, it's That's real awesome. nice, Matt. Thank, thank you, Matt. Guys. Thank yep. you so much. That's awesome. I wanted to say thank you to you guys because uh, you guys helped kick this off. I mean, it, like I was tweeting pretty much all week because I've been excited for tonight to come. Um, it, you guys answered the call the very first time. I just randomly asked this. And here we are doing it a year later. So uh, there is, like you guys know, there is some more coming. Tessa, yours is all coming in one package because of yeah. uh, shipping costs. Ridiculous uh, shipping costs. <laughs> just don't, don't tell Vicky. She hasn't got, uh, well, I don't know. Maybe she did open hers now. <laughs> no, she said she wasn't going to. She pr And she promised she wouldn't watch the stream. So she didn't know what it was. <laughs> She's been too busy because it's her sister's birthday anyway. So happy birthday to Vicky's sister. Yes, for yep. sure. Absolutely. Okay, but but Matt, does yours go in the dark? Because mine, mine does. does. Not. Heather's is cooler. <laughs> no, it's not cooler. But I did think it was pretty cool with my four pinks that are, That's and really it goes cool. in the dark. Although I don't think you'll be able to see it because of the no, because obviously because of the computer, mm, <laughs> you're not gonna see it. But anyways, go on Twitter. It's on there. It's cool. It's it awesome. Goes in the dark. <laughs> it's pink. <laughs> and it's pink. I, you did not let me down, Heather. I, I figured as soon as I'd post that, that you, I figured you'd have to print one in pink. And if I had enough pinks, your big one would have been pink. But I only have one. Oh, that would have been amazing. <laughs> oh, I, I have quite quite a few more than one shades of pink. <laughs> yeah. a, a few, just a few more. Just a couple extra. 49 and a half? Yeah, Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. No, actually, you know what? We I just posted too because we, we cleaned the printer area and we kind of got rid of the spools that had just like little bits on them. And I'm, da I'm down to like 20 colors, guys. It's really unfortunate. Wait, wait a second. <laughs> You're going to have to do another 3D Pink Mafia season just so you can I get know, sent some more. I know. <laughs> There's so many good ones. So you're down to 20 colors. Is it 20 colors or 20 shades of pink? 20 shades of pink. <laughs> <laughs> you I know. have to do a, a 2018 problem. update. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Yeah. So we're going to, okay, I'm going to start. I'm segueing to our, what I learned in a year. So honestly, so a year ago today, I was on day 23 of the pick the pink series. I had never printed anything ever before. Um, I had never been in a video before. Uh, and, and Travis was mean. He made me <laughs> print, film the videos, edit the videos, post the videos. I did all of it myself. He didn't do any of it. Actually, I take that back. The only thing he did was he did my thumbnails for me because I was really crappy at that. But he, he did all of that for me um, and I did everything else. And so, yeah, and in the last year, I look back at the prints I did during the Pick the Pink series and they were horrible <laughs> they were so bad so i've definitely learned a lot more about printer settings um filaments because i literally printed every single print and print print the, pick the pink in the exact same temperature regardless of the type of filament it was you guys i had no idea what i was doing and i was winging it big time so i yeah i've learned definitely a lot with that and obviously learned a lot about our community um, which is amazing. I don't want to talk about it or I'll start to cry again. And so that's what I learned in the last year. What have you guys learned? Hmm? I've learned how cool this community is. <laughs> Seriously. Nice. Agreed. It's awesome. <laughs> Sorry guys. I'm like kind of still speechless and excited about tonight so um, <laughs> chris what about you what did you learn this year oh gosh uh a lot of things um i guess start off with i've learned that i'm not the only one in the community that likes 3d printing and rum <laughs> um apparently i guess rum is big with makers i mean it's 
it seems to be the aside from beer i guess it, it seems to be the most common spirit that most bakers will uh, drink but um no in all seriousness i've learned a lot over the past year i've gotten into the the moai and the sla printing um learn that's a whole different ball game um i've learned that the uh the cap tubes apparently taste better than regular ptfa e tubes um, <laughs> i can confirm what's that mitch i said oh, i can yeah. confirm that yeah, yeah. um i've learned it's a, it's a great community out there the the backers the, the subscribers the followers um the people that we interact with in Twitter and Facebook and, you know, online, um, they're what drive us. So as, as the content creators, I mean, they're, they're what drive us and inspire us to keep doing it. So um, I guess I've learned just how cool everybody out there is. How about you, Joe, Mike? That's me. Right? Oh, uh, I'm sorry. Bathtub guy. What do you think? <laughs> oh, there we go. That I know that name. Gosh, what have I learned in a year? Um, well, a lot along the same lines as Chris and Richard, I too have uh, started dabbling in SLA, so resin printing, which, like Chris mentioned, is completely. Uh, bass backwards from FDM in a lot of ways, but it's uh, incredibly, uh, I don't know, fulfilling. Yeah, fulfilling. It's awesome. It's fun. It's a rewarding uh, journey. Other, it is. It really is, especially when you, can f when you really start dialing it in and you get really tiny, really detailed prints, and you're like, wow, I could not have done that with an FDM printer. Um, other than that, you know, I've, it's been a, a journey of honing my skills with my FDM printers, um, getting to learn more about how the printers work, like really starting to dig into deltas. Um, finally invested in a CME CNC Rostock V3, and it's been a journey getting that thing up and going. And well worth the journey there too. Um, you know, experimenting with different materials. Uh, this is really the first year I've started printing with the more uh, prototype materials and functional materials. So your nylons and your carbon infused filaments. Um, and then on the creator side of things, I've learned a lot about production. Uh, lighting, like how to improve my lighting, how to improve my camera work, integrating multi-camera shots. Uh, how to actually use Premiere Pro um, instead of just throwing it all in the timeline and, and doing your best to cut. And yeah, so I've been really trying to dial in the production skills there. Um, and also, it's been a whirlwind, kind of started up an ad hoc business with this whole 3D KC. Cruza MK Mark III boards. Um, I think I'm almost to the 200 sold uh, point, which is about 150 more than I thought I was going to sell of these things. So uh, it's been a lot of like business management, learning how to manage business finances, manage the production cycle. Like right now, I'm you know sitting here soldering these boards because I have to keep up with my orders. And uh, you know, shipping logistics, and, and the the process I go through. I don't know if you guys can see a lot of that behind me, but I basically have, you know, a process of one, two, three, four. This is the way I package it up and and get going, and get the orders out the door. So, uh, like standard operating procedures and all that kind of stuff, while at the same time maintaining my nine to five job. It's been it's been busy. Uh, other than that, I'd say also the community aspect and learning, you know, just how much of a great community the 3D printing community is and how close knit we are and how big of a family we are and seeing that played out in practical ways and uh, just being completely humbled to be a part of it. 
Yeah. So. Yeah, uh, I'm I'm looking forward to the next year. I have no clue what I'm gonna change. Maybe I'll uh, start laser engraving or CNCing or um, changing diapers. Laser. God, yeah, that's yes, happening. diapers. 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 I'm I'm getting another 3D printer. Uh, this one in the form of a human child, and it's going to be extruding from its hot end. <laughs> so. <laughs> But luckily, luckily, I'll have uh, interchangeable beds in the form of diapers with that one. So, um, due in August, baby Terranella, due in August, and we still don't know the sex yet. We'll know uh, in about two weeks, but uh, I, that is definitely in a huge step in the journey. Is going to be how do I balance my already hectic schedule with all of this? And also, you know, be there for my wife and my child. And I imagine I'm going to want to be spending a lot more time with with them, you know. So I know we'll see. I'm I'm excited to to see. So that's what I got. Congratulations again, Jerry Mike. Thank yeah, you. Oh yeah, right. and to, I, I totally intend to take more more baths. Uh, um, <laughs> take advantage of that tub. We're actually considering uh, changing out that jacuzzi tub for a, a better model, a larger model. So I might have some better digs to broadcast from. So we'll see where that goes. <laughs> Built-in built laptop desk? Or? Well, technically I've got that, that little thing that goes across that you can hold a book and a glass of wine. So I could prop up like an El Cheapo laptop on that yeah. if I wanted to right now. I, that's where I put the iPad last time. You can mute the reverb off the walls with uh, like picture frames with towels wrapped around them. <laughs> <laughs> but the reverb is half the fun. That's how people know you're in the bathroom. <laughs> but my headphone is. <laughs> all right. I'm, that's all I've got. I'm going to stop talking. All right, Lauren, what about you? Oh, man. I learned a lot. Uh very similar to uh, Joe Mike. Uh, owning a business is very difficult when you're trying to juggle another full-time job. Um, but it's also one of the most rewarding things on the face of the planet, especially when it involves this community. Um, I'm still figuring it out, and I'm grateful that the community has kind of stuck with me, even though my content has been super sporadic and... Uh, at times non-existent <laughs> but it's a uh, it's been a very interesting and incredible journey and I've um, I've learned a lot I've gained a lot of printers I've learned how to disassemble every single one of them um, which is awesome and super exciting coming from somebody who never used to disassemble anything uh, so that was a huge step for me this year and uh, yeah, it's it's been an interesting journey, and I'm really excited to see what next year has. Cool, Martin. Yeah, uh, for me, uh, like in July last year, I didn't have a 3D printer. I've never seen a 3D printer, or I have never seen a 3D print for that matter. So at that time. Uh, I was just starting out, uh, so last year was just a new discovery for me to be able to model something and, and print it out in, in 3D, and that was uh, quite a journey, and, and I decided to start my YouTube channel in the same time, and I've been documenting my process, doing build videos on and I assemble the printers I have, and uh, the enclosures, and all the changes I made and all the, all the things I made. So that has been a great journey, uh, discovering a YouTube platform also and <laughs> getting some subs for, for my channel. And uh, that has been great. And in the process, like you other guys have said, the community in, in this hobby is, is amazing. I, I didn't know any anyone in this community. <laughs> Uh, last July when I started out and I just started uh, by connecting to YouTube 
uh, live streams and, and finding people on Twitter and start talking. And then this Friday hangout thing got my attention and decided to join, even, even though I'm connecting like in 3 a.m. in the morning <laughs> when the stream starts. So I take an all-nighter for the streams, but it has given me a lot of uh, good friends. So uh, yeah, that's basically what I've been going through the last year, just learning and, and trying out filaments and learning, like I said, six or seven months ago, I didn't even know there was a thing called Slicer to to prepare 3D models. So I was like a total noob in this area. And, and the first 3D print I saw was was a print my son made at a fab lab in a school project. So he came and said, I modeled uh, this in Tinkercad and, and printed on a fab lab. And I was just amazed what he did there. And I, I thought this is something I had to do also. <laughs> so, so I would say he got got me started initially to to get a 3D printer. So that's uh, what I've uh, have been doing in the last year. <laughs> um, let's see. Sorry, looking at the order down here, Mitch. Um. I just, I don't know, I, I learned a lot because, um, I mean, just joining this Hangouts, like um, just learning how accepting the 3D printing community is and um, and we're like a very diverse group. And uh, um, in terms of like actual printing, I learned financial planning so that I could afford printers. And now I have five of them. So... <laughs> Um, but, uh, yeah, I just learned how awesome this community is and, uh, I'm starting to learn a little bit more about video production and, um, I learned a lot about actual FDM printing and, uh, SLA printing a little bit more, but, uh, um, like, um, yeah, I learned something every day and also how to juggle a full-time job that I travel and, you know, doing my projects, that's, that's always a challenge. Um, but, uh, yeah, this is a great community. Um, so I'm, I'm glad to learn from all of you guys' channels on, on kind of my journey through content, creating, content creation and modeling and 3D printing. All right. Uh, Tessa. Hey, hey, hey. So let me. You've had just an exciting my... year too, eh? <laughs> I've had a huge year. So last year I was, last year I was heavily pregnant, and now I have a son and I'm a mum and I've been doing all sorts of things. So I'm just going to share my screen here and show you where I was last year. So at the very first, here we go, February twenty third was my first introduction into ZBrush. So I went from doing CAD type um, simple designs with uh, Fusion 360 and um, Tinkercad with the 3D Block Zoo to doing more organic models and um, hanging out with uh, Garrett from Chaos Cortec doing some things with him while he was modeling. And you can see here I've just um, progressed into doing more and more of this sort of fun stuff. And I still on occasion do these um, practical models, but I've really um, delved into the artistic side of, of making models in the last year. And I'm currently working on this B. I think it's pretty much done. It'll be a mission and a half for an FDM, but um, I hope to see it, someone printing it on a resin, which would be really cool. Um, what else have I been doing? Let me think. How do I turn my screen back to me? Is it me again? Yep, it's back to you. <laughs> oh, sweet. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't know. I've, I've been, I've been following everyone on Twitter. I haven't had a lot of time for YouTube recently. Uh, chasing a baby around is a full-time job. <laughs> um, but yeah, I've been watching with great interest the developments in 3D printing and uh, how the printers are becoming more smart with 
not needing to use end stops, instead just um, testing the torque of the of the motors, like on the Prusa. That's really interesting. And the prices are coming down for resin printers and alternative printing technologies, which I'm really, I'm excited for. Um, other than that, I want to say hello to Vicky because I saw she just joined <laughs> recently. And um, I, I might pass you that way. Go, Vicky. <laughs> All right, we'll get back to the conversation. Let Vicki introduce herself. Hi, everyone. This is uh, Vicki Soma, TGA 3D. Uh, you can find me on Twitter at TGAW. And yeah, introduction. Are we just rolling into what we learned or just introdu introductions right now? Open your present. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead and uh, oh, yeah, Heather wants you to open your present. <laughs> did they, they already did? They got to already, yep. Uh, yeah. While you're, there you go. While you're opening that up, um, yeah, if you want to uh, just roll right into what you've learned this year, um, it's kind of since the, the stream started last year is what we've been talking about. Yeah. Right kind of going well, down one of the things that I learned that's uh, really been helpful is the built in 3D build uh, application that comes with Windows 10. And I learned that from Tessa. Tessa did a quick little video on her channel. And yeah, it's really helped me out. I use it quite frequently. And then with Blender, Blender is my main model. Um, Blender is so extensive that I think I could be doing it forever and I would still learn new things. Um, I think in the past year, uh, I used particle systems to make flowers, um, to, to sort of make a rhododendron flower. Um, I learned new hotkeys that help out when I'm modeling in the car. A lot of times, if you're in a bumpy car and you're trying to pick a specific vertex and you're, it's bouncing, it's very difficult, but you could hit the G hotkey and have it selected for you. Um, and I think another Blender feature that came in handy is apply scale. I wasn't using that before and it's made math. Um, when I'm making arrays of things, it's made it a lot simpler. Uh, I get the ready things into prints, so I still still am doing that. Uh, this week I was embedding in old um, soda to try to make, make um, try to start working on a little cuff bracelet uh, for myself. Um, just, you know, I'm, I think I was still doing that, but I, you know, I was doing that at the time, but I've been continuing that and, and I'm, have no intimidation of pause prints and putting things in or switching colors. And th that is a testament to the 3D printing community. You know, all oh, I've learned from Tessa and her extended experiments um, with color changes and pausing prints and stuff. And yeah, I think without the community, I wouldn't be where where I'm at. Cool, John. Oh, but I did get the present. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Did we see it? Uh oh. I'm not sure about everybody else, but I'm not seeing Vicky's video. She's frozen. What, what did you print the uh, sign out of? Titanium or something that absorbs the signal? <laughs> Hold it up in front of the camera and it absorbs it, huh? Huh. All right. Um, while Vicky's video feed comes back, we'll go ahead, John. Okay. I'll uh, share my screen here. Let me know if you see it. Uh, you see the screen? Yep. Yep. I see me. All right. So, Inception there. Yeah. So, I didn't have my printer at this time. This was um, back in March. I ordered my printer in the like, end of January and received it uh, somewhere around April, maybe. So, I was doing videos about everything with 3d printing up to that point because i was like hey let's so that's when i started interacting with all you guys like look i got like a uh, still didn't have my printer yet but i'm doing a murph recap like i'm capturing people's because i'm so into this i'm like wow this is like really cool so and now i'm actually going to murph so that's like even more awesome it's just like uh, 360 and, and how this thing turned around uh, i'll show you some of my instagram so where's that right here uh, that's when i got the printer right there and i started building it my first thing 
I think I printed was this uh, spinner for Johnny, and then in SolidWorks I designed uh, this this hall pass for Sherry. She's a teacher, and uh, then I just I mean it's like a constant learning thing, and I'm still learning. Like I don't know, uh, Vicky and you guys helped me out with being able to do the color change, you know, with a single extruder. And, and like, I didn't even know what a slicer was. There I am printing the open RC. So it's just awesome. Just so much stuff I learned. Um, and recently I've been improving my live streaming game. So I got the stream deck, uh, the Elgato stream deck, got some buttons in there so I can program, hit the, uh, I'll be right back button or show camera one or camera two, whatever. So I'm, I'm really digging how this is coming out, and I really appreciate how you like took me in. It's like, you know, here I am an outsider. I'm like a maker guy, but you know, it's just a testament to what this community is. So thank you. Vicky, did you make it back, or did you go black dark again? Well, <laughs> she was back, and then she's gone. Uh, I'm sure she'll probably pop back in again. Um, right. She's like the wind <laughs> in my tree. I'm covering the logo on my shirt with my shirt. Oh, uh, yeah. There, we'll do this. Covering your logo with your logo. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> um, yeah. So, for anybody who's just joining, um, about 22 minutes left to enter the contest for the t-shirts if you are interested in winning one of the friday night uh, 3d printing t-shirts it's not actually this design this is the one that i made myself um the one that merch minions doing is actually the full four collars of the logo um and there's a couple different options there with the shirt but for the giveaway it's just for the t-shirt um with the logo on the front the backs of them um the f3d pch is optional and you can get that at the additional cost but the giveaway is just for the uh the t-shirt with the front on um and i'm still posting throughout the uh link chris just posted the link for the store for the friday night 3d printing community hangout stuff too um and for anybody who's just joining uh just a refresher on that real quick um for every t-shirt or sweatshirt sold the friday night 3d printing community hangouts gets two dollars um, and for every sticker, um, we get a dollar. That money is going to go towards marketing the streams, um, whether it's at Murph, Earth, or other events. So just to update everybody, um, the size rover is um, up to you. You get to pick the size on Merch Minion site. So. Hey, Matt, if, yeah. if I could throw a prop also. Um, on the practical printing side of Merch Minions site, there is a special 3D Pink Mafia version of the practical printing logo shirt. Um, all profits from that, as long as we leave it up there, um, and we'll probably take it down after a month or so, but all profits from that are going to second chance pet adoptions here in Southern California as well. That's so cool. if anybody wants to support that, get yourself the special edition pink shirt, the 3D Pink Mafia one, endorsed by Heather. Can I add on top of that? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I'm also on Merch Minion, and I've got the Missourias for Makers t-shirt right now. And I haven't done an official vi video on my site yet, but it was, I was planning on doing it once I got my shirt so I could demonstrate the shirt. But uh, I have not received them in the mail yet because uh, I ordered a big thing with a hoodie and all kinds of other stuff. Anyway, um, through, I believe... We figured um, all of March and probably all of April, if you buy a Missouri is for Makers t-shirt, uh, all the profits from that go to Lullaby of Hope. And if anyone has been on the stream, if I posted it, then you know that Lullaby of Hope is uh, kind of near and dear. It's especially near and dear now since the wife and I are expecting a child. The Lullaby of Hope was very much um, an active part of helping us, you know, through the time when it wasn't happening for us. And uh, we've had friends who have gone through 
some tough times with miscarriages and other stuff and lullaby hope was there for them with care packages and just support so uh yeah my t-shirts all the profit from that right now is it's gonna go all to lullaby of hope and uh just a preview for anyone who's on the stream i've been growing out this beard for a long time now and i think i'm gonna set the goal at about 500 bucks but if i raise 500 bucks for lullaby of hope I am going to have my buddy Anthony shave this off live at Murph. Um, so, if anything, just to, to see Anthony chop up my face. That, so that name. Maybe with flush cuts? Straight razor. <laughs> straight, straight razor. I don't know if I trust Anthony with a straight can, razor. Can we add push goals? You know, like if you get 600, you, you, he'll do your arms as well. <laughs> <laughs> now, okay. It's, well, man, from the bathtub already... video, I think we gotta go to the chest. <laughs> <laughs> it's already a chore to shave all this off. I don't want you know the live stream to last for hours. You know, I mean, this. <laughs> look at this. That is like baboon level. Yeah, but if we use some wax, it'll it'll only take seconds. Oh uh, no! <laughs> we could do the highest. No, no. Seven hundred dollars for a wax job. Yeah. <laughs> The highest donator yeah. gets to have their uh, name uh, shaved in waxed their, on their back. Name. There you go. Wax oh, we should three D three D print wax into the shape of a logo. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like where this is going. I I just don't like it. One bit. Let's just stop. No eyebrows, tickers. Not a no, no. I agree. Uh, you. Oh, I, sorry. Continue. I'm gonna. <laughs> <laughs> um, we do have uh, waiting for Vicky to come back. We actually have a, a newcomer that we haven't had on the Friday night streams, I don't think, yet. Nick. Oh, cool. I mean, you're unmuted. Oh, I'm unmuted. Yeah. <laughs> don't you wish things awesome. were nice like that? Yeah. I actually have. Uh, I do believe I was on a Friday night stream. Man, it was a while ago. Yeah, you were. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, it, it's, it's been a while. September, maybe right after New York Maker Fair and uh, talking about Earth, I believe, and what was coming there. So, yeah. That's right. But, I apologize. I forgot about that. No worries. No worries. It, it kind of hurts my feelings a little bit. I'm not going <laughs> to lie. There are going to be some tears later. Um, possibly, unlike Joe Mike, who is comfy in the bathtub, I might just be rocking in the shower with water <laughs> running over me. But that's okay. I don't take things too hard. Uh, yeah, so uh, I'm Nick on, on Twitter, uh, Van Full of Puppies. Most people know me as Lauren's husband, Summer's boyfriend, and I don't even know what Laura is to me at this point. Just a mistress, I guess. I, just confused. Uh, the personalities just keep coming. By the time we get to Murph, there are going to be like 22 of them. It's going to be great. Not going to have any of them straight. Uh, yeah, so I guess over the past year, man, um, we've had we had the Flash Forge for what, two years now? It's been two years since we got our first printer. And honestly, the, the first year was all about Lauren using the printer pretty much nonstop. <laughs> uh, I printed a traffic cone, and I believe I printed an ammo loader for an AR magazine. And that was about all that I got done in oh, a year. Oh, you're full of it. I'm not. It's true. <laughs> I still have both true. of those, too. Um, and then I guess really in the last year, it really... It took off my my experience at Murph, going to Murph, meeting everybody, hanging out, uh, seeing how open and welcoming the uh, the community is um, was phenomenal. I mean, we, we got lucky at Murph last year. Our table was right next to Chuck Hellebuck. Um, so I got to pick Chuck's brain for two straight days. Um, I'm sorry, Chuck. Yeah, I, I do need to apologize <laughs> Chuck for that. Uh, and, it, and it may happen again this time. Who knows? Um, but yeah, getting getting to talk with Chuck and then hanging out with Daniel Norea and to talking Open RC, you know, I, I came back from Murph with all kinds of ideas and immediately kind of usurped the Flash Forge because I get to work from home. So whenever Lauren wasn't here, the Flash Forge was running like eight hours a day printing whatever I wanted it to print. Um, probably fastest turnaround on an an open. Uh, RC F1 ever. I think in like three days I had all the pre the pieces printed. Um, and it, it's very much an addiction because uh, once you have one, you need multiple apparently. 
So I now have multiple open uh, RCF ones uh, hanging around. I've got a drone someplace that I need to finish off. I've done practical stuff around the house. Um, thanks to meeting uh, Uncle Jesse Clayton at New York Maker Fair, I've kind of gotten more into doing some movie prop stuff as well. So there's some some prints that need to be finished around here. But in the course of the last year, I've seriously learned so much about doing different things. Um, Carbon fiber is my medium of choice most of the time, uh, but not exclusively. Move into PETG and all that fun stuff. So a lot of, lot of experimenting. I also, I guess the most important thing that I learned is that uh, safety is paramount when printing, uh, especially if you're gonna do a lot of your printing on an ANET. So, you know, figuring, figuring that out early, uh, making the adjustments that you need to make, making things safe, uh, having a fire extinguisher nearby, always good tips. Oh, hey, look, Chuck's in here now. <laughs> Where have you been? Uh, I missed it. I was talking. <laughs> Multitasking is not my strength. Yeah, he said he, he uh, sent you at Murph to go get batteries for him. <laughs> I did. I did go oh, get batteries. That did happen. I also did a coffee run for Mara from Matter Hackers and Lauren as well. Mm -hmm. And uh, we ended up doing a, a, a rum run with uh, Jim. <laughs> yep. Okay, so now that I'm going to Murph, Nick, you better go get me coffee at some point. Are you kidding? I dropped Lauren off at Murph uh, Saturday morning and ran to get coffee and then to the liquor store to buy everything we would need for later in the day. The coffee at the hotel was not right. good enough. And then went back out to, and not only, yeah, I didn't go find a Dunkin' either. No, I go found the like local a, coffee house. Yeah, he found the best local coffee house, according to somebody who lived there. In the middle of a, a rainstorm in a monsoon in Indiana. Oh, you're so dramatic. I am telling the truth. <laughs> and by the way this this is in no way like a youtube personality this is what our house is like most of the time it's true so, it's exhausting <laughs> <laughs> i'm just going through chat so i guess i can't get away from the one year anniversary without asking how everybody's weather is too <laughs> 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 It's sunny uh, outside. I assume it's quite warm. Um, the last few days have been pretty hot. The rest of the summer has been really mild, actually, um, only in the high 30s Celsius. I'm talking to Celsius, guys. And um, But usually we have weather in the, high, in the low 40s. But uh, I think we have only had one day where it came to 39. So it's been a rather nice summer, actually. It's been nasty yeah, I've here. Had crazy it's been snowstorms warm and, and rainstorms. Snow <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> All right. As so, you say that, I'm getting my jacket on. There, there you go. <laughs> I'm yeah, trying my car, my car was frozen me. shut this morning. I couldn't open the door. I was late for work because it was completely frozen shut. And I know, I know, everyone lives where it's freezing, but here in Northern California, it is never that cold. So it was terrible for me. Joke's on you. Your neighbors just sprayed your car with the hose. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't actually think to pay attention to anyone else's cars to see how frozen they were. It's just yours. <laughs> yeah, Vicky said her uh, internet's not cooperating tonight. Hey, Nick. Hey, you man, you you totally left out our bromance at Murph when we uh, love of Monty Python. That is that is an excellent point. I did get to meet Joe Mike at Murph. It was awesome. We did some Monty Python back and forth. Um, interesting fact, if you talk to Joel Telling at all, when you talk to Joel Telling, we'll all get the opportunity at Murph. I apparently have bromances going on with several members of the community. You um, hussy. I he is. Yes, I am, Tessa. Thank you. And by the way, I love the word hussy. <laughs> <laughs> it is right up there with Libertine, by the way. Uh, Matt, your stream is demonetized. Hey, hey Nick. <laughs> powder donuts there? Or? What's that? Powder donuts? Or? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Just, you know what? This is this is keeping up with Lauren, Laura, and Summer. <laughs> like, this was all nice before. Now, eh. <laughs> Oh, man. We're, we're having Maine weather out here in California. 
Uh, I mean, it's 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 cold, it's windy, and we don't get snow. It's it's nasty, and no power today. Oddly enough, two days ago we had California weather where yeah. we are. Yeah. It was seventy mm. and sunny, and the next day snowing. It's world's <laughs> backwards. It's crazy. Well, you heard that Trading Spaces is coming back to TLC, so I think this is just some big publicity stunt. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. Uh, so I had to ask that just because a year ago that was the second question I answered, or second question I asked, and uh, I was surprised tonight Heather didn't give me hell for that. <laughs> yes, because that's all we have to talk about is what is the weather like. <laughs> that's it. That's all we can talk about. So we've talked about what we've learned in a year, and the one thing that I uh, think is kind of cool, I think, everybody mentioned it is the community um hey when i kind of laughingly said at the beginning that that's the one thing that i've learned about this year it, it really is the the community um has been great i mean i have my youtube channel um that i don't post that many videos on i'm not that active on it but i really do look forward every two weeks to doing these streams um the interactions on Twitter, the different things that we do for each other is awesome. The support that the community has is great. And um, earlier today, Joe Mike, I saw posted um, about different Facebook groups and stuff and some of the, say, lack of support um, that people have demonstrated on like, the 3D printing Facebook group and others. Um, and it, it's cool in the last year to come to this stream every other week or every week when we started out and everybody's on a level playing field. Um, we've got, we've had people of varying uh, levels of knowledge and 3d printing come on the stream. And I mean, we've gotten to talk about things like content creation on YouTube and um, I, I've learned a lot from everybody else on this stream, hearing the different ways that people do things Um and I think as far as the streaming and interaction with the community and things, even things that I've printed um, have greatly improved over the last year, just from the interactions with the community, the things I've learned from everybody. Um, that's, I think it's cool that everybody's uh, response was they learned how great the community is. Yeah, definitely. It's a great great community and I've been into several hobbies through my year and through my life and uh, this community is, uh, is amazing how everybody is helping each other and, and welcoming everyone that is joining and like for me I uh, was a new guy in the community just a few months ago and, and I felt really welcomed to, to the scene so I can confirm that. Sorry. Um, I'm going to post the link for the last time in the chat for the t-shirt giveaway. Um, about five more minutes left before that'll end. And then we'll... Vicky's back. Um, hey, Vicky is back. We'll see how it works out. <laughs> you don't sound too optimistic this time. All right. <laughs> You still good, Vicky? Or okay, yep, you're still moving. <laughs> she can't hear you. I, yeah, I you muted. Did. I muted. Okay, I wasn't sure if you knew you were or not. Um, so, going, let's look at. We've talked about this last year. What do you guys plan on doing this year? Um, things you want to learn about this year, or uh, whether it's different type of 3D printing, like the SLA printing, if you're not into that, or um, printers you're looking at, skills that you want to learn, and just kind of have a free-for-all first one instead of going down the line. Well, my <laughs> first goal for the upcoming year is to uh, get a freaking pulse out of Dave. <laughs> that would be awesome. You're made if that happens. Uh, 
Joe, so Mike, do you think you'll actually have to wait 365 days? Do you think you'll actually have do to what? wait 365 days? Uh, Dave here. 366. Great, yeah, 366. Uh, he better bring it to Murph. That's all I got to say. No. <laughs> That's, no. I, uh, I, I love those I mean, sweets. Those are the best. Yeah, he'll bring one to Murph and then just show it to him. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, I'm sure. I'm Oddly sure enough, he'll he'll at Murph. off to somebody else. Right. Right. Wait, when did that happen? That, that, something like that did happen recently. Doesn't matter. I'm having fun. That's all that matters. Um, see, in the upcoming year, I just kind of hope to to continue on, and uh, I think I can speak for most of us when I say we just want to continue growing and getting better uh, at what we do, uh, whether that is designing and modeling as our primary, and then 3D printing is kind of the way of getting it into reality or if it's you know practical printing or if it's you know using 3d printing as a a supplement to something else like uh, john's led fetish uh you know and I, I think at the end of the day we all want to continue to become better at our craft whatever that craft may be whatever the primary is I mean, if that's content creation for like your YouTube channels and to continue getting better at that and to continue uh, pushing yourself and expanding the different things that you play with. Um, I mean, for me personally, this upcoming year, I'm really excited about the whole Maker Box partnership just because I'm I'm going to actually have to print every single material that comes in the Maker Box and instead of having like you know just stacks and stacks of samples that are you know, not being printed because I'm just like, I don't have time to, to try all this out. Well, now I've got the time because it's part of, uh, it's part of the content creation process now. So I'm really looking forward to that. And it's just expanding my filament knowledge and uh, experience and being able to share that with, with other people as well. That's cool. This upcoming year, I'm hoping to be more active on Twitch to stream more. I also want to open up my commissions more often so that I can start um, supplementing the income of the household, which would be really awesome. Makes me feel a bit like I can contribute. And, um, and that'll also help me with my 3D modeling practice as well. So um, hopefully, yeah, more active on Twitch and more, more commission work. So I'm on the I'm on Twitch now too. Uh, U D O I T two. I'll put it in uh, put it in the chat. That's uh, yeah. I'm, I'm starting to get trying to do. Oh, I was gonna say that uh, I'm just trying to get more people to start using Fusion 360 because I I feel like uh, I'm kind of pro proliferating. Fusion 360, now that I've gotten more used to it, like I'm realizing how awesome it is. And the more tutorials I watch, like the more into it I get. So um, I definitely encourage people to start learning that. <clears throat> oh, I love 360. Yeah, I'm, I switched over from SolidWorks to that. Um, it's a little bit different, it took me a while. Uh, like Rover, I'll tell you, he was in some of my first streams where it was probably painful for him to just sit there and watch me just fumble my way through every action I'm trying to do. I'm a lot more um, proficient now. I think, um, I mean, two things for me for this next year is, is one is I, I've been trying to take the Fusion 360 tutorials back uh, – back to basics as much as possible. Um, you know, here, here's a box, here's a circle, here's a line. Here's how you connect them together, and here's how you extrude it. Um, so I, I've been trying to take the, the Fusion tutorials back, you know, that far for, for the complete noobs and people that are um, intimidated by the software. 
and, and get people familiar there. Um, I also want to try to refine my processes this year so that I can put out content quicker, you know, get, get faster at, at editing video, um, hopefully improve the quality of the videos as well, but at try to get those so I can get them out, you know, quicker and get more content out and be able to move from one video to another faster. Do you follow uh, Sean Cannell any? He, he, um, he was saying that, that you need to try to make everything more efficient yeah. so that you can pump more out, get your content out there, and let the market or the viewers decide what's popular, and then you use that information to uh, dictate where your channel direction will go. Well, it's it's not just, um, I mean, that's that's important too, but it's, when I, when I say improve the process, it's not just the video editing side. I mean, obviously that needs improvement, but it's just being able to to film in less takes, to be able to get you know the content ready, to be able to get the prints, uh, have things running on one printer while another printer is is just finishing up, and you know to to overlap the content, um, to be running something, for example, on the Moai for an SLA related video while while something is, is printing on the uh, Prusa Mark III or whatever. Um, of course, a lot of working around the day job comes into that as well, but. Yeah, up till two in the morning, you know, you're working on stuff. That's, Quite often. that's what we do with creators. You know, it's the side hustle. Yeah. Oh, I see Chuck wants to learn Tinkercad next year. <laughs> Hey guys, I'm gonna be right back. I gotta let my dog outside real quick. Ten four. Uh, one thing I can help people with, uh, if you're slow to understand how to do tags in a video, SEO on your videos, I've had a lot of practice over the last uh, two years, and I uh, I've helped a, a few people out in the 3D printing community, uh, grow their channel a little so. If you uh, if you ever need any help in that area, just reach out to me and I can help you. There's some tools. I'm, you I'm not to. slow. I'm just lazy. <laughs> can I pay you to do it for me, maybe? <laughs> yeah, I do. Um, oh, I I'll do a couple of videos for you. I need a drawing, so uh, yeah. maybe we could trade up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just recently started using uh, TubeBuddy out of a suggestion that was just floating around on Twitter, and I gotta say. Great. Yeah. Dude, buddy, yeah, it rocks my socks off. And they just added a new feature where you start typing in a tag and it starts auto populating common tags on YouTube and kind of mm. shows you how they'll perform. And so, like, I did a filament dehydrator video and I had the basic stuff in there and then I was like typing out, you know, uh, dry filament, dry PLA, dry PETG, and all this other stuff, and I didn't realize I should be tagging all of this stuff. Yeah. And, uh, you know. Apparently, if you go back in the next day or the day after and reorder your tags in, in um, the priorities, you can also get a few more views that way. Because it does something with the yeah, search that's algorithm. That's crazy how mm. that stuff works. I just put a, uh, it's not really a link because I didn't put the HTTP, but that's the website, uh, Morning Fame. And that I was watching a Roberta Blake's video earlier, and you two you combine that with TubeBuddy, and you can uh, really hone in what you want to do for setting up your description, your title, and your tags, and it shows you live in Morning Fame what um, how your video is going to rank. How to, according to the tags and stuff you're putting in there. It gives you instant feedback. Mm, cool. Neat. Have to look at those more. Yeah. I, I Just start I, putting I hot chicken in a hot or in a hot to hot chicken in a hot tub in every single one of my tags and see what happens. <laughs> you need to get a chicken. Put it in the hot tub and have it just as a picture at the beginning or the end of your video so you're not lying about it either it's a hot chicken hot tub <laughs> I yeah. 
like a, a rubber duck, or not a rubber duck, yeah, but a rubber I chicken. I need a rubber yeah. chicken. And I think it should just be you. It should just be you <laughs> in the bathtub. No, that's what, even what does that better. say about my masculinity? And I'm saying there's a chicken there, not me. <laughs> yeah. There needs this to be at least a rubber chicken in there. Yeah, I was telling you, this is my co-star on my channel. He's always watching me doing the prints. And <laughs> and I have two others that pop in sometimes, but this one is usually always on the table and watching what I'm doing. And He's super uh, polite. He's not knocking everything off the table. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. I've seen uh, videos of cats that just knock things off tables for no reason. Ours don't do that. Um, and I, I reckon it, it's a respect thing because I, I've forced my husband to be nice to the cats because they hold grudges. <laughs> but um, we're good to them and they're good to us. I don't know. They, they just don't do that sort of thing. Yeah, they have to show who's boss, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> Say hi. Now every, everyone's watching it's you. It's Alice in Wonderland. <laughs> <laughs> so they just got back from their daughter dance. Did you have fun? Uh -huh. And they, the new thing this year was that instead of just having dancing, they had STEM activities for all the girls to participate in. Uh -huh. So what kind of stuff did they have? They had, um, they had Kiva blocks. They had strawberries. And block, big blocks to build stuff. Uh huh. The straw thing is where they have the like thousands of straws, and you mm -hmm. make them into stuff, right? Uh huh. Okay, and then what's the other thing? The cubies. What's uh, that? Um, kiva blocks where oh. they're just like red. They're like kind of like um, Jenga blocks. Oh, okay. No three D printers though, huh? Uh huh. <laughs> and they had just dance. Oh, and just dance, of course, most important. <laughs> and you stole daddy's rabbit ears. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let everyone get back to the 3D printing talking. She just wanted to say hi. <laughs> hi, Ari. Hi, Ari. The chat, Heather, the chat want to know if Travis is in a dress. <laughs> oh, no, he's not in a dress. I know. We, the plan was that actually he and our nephew were going to dress up as Tweedledee and Tweedledum. And <laughs> that didn't quite pan out. So I told him he had a pass this year and he could just wear jeans and he didn't have to dress up. But then Ari conned him into wearing the the uh, white rabbit bunny ears. So, so, then he at least had something. so at least he had something. He was dressed up with something. It's a shame he didn't have a 3D printed pocket watch to go with those ears. I know. I thought about so I thought about printing like a little drink me bottle too. That was pretty oh, good. Yes. They actually had a bunch of stuff at her school. The decorations are out of control. So they had all that kind of stuff everywhere. Um, but what was somebody saying? Are we filling her school with 3D printed stuff? Yes. She 3D prints pretty much. Ah! He is in a dress. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Okay. So he was in a dress. That's good times. That dress looks better on me. <laughs> yes, a glimpse into our, a normal Friday this night. Normal, this is our normal Friday night. <laughs> Yeah, Ari does print everything at school. Everything she takes. Oh, so she, I'm sure you've seen. She printed, you can't really see it. She printed little boxes for Valentine's Day that she designed in Doodle 3D. Um, she takes all that stuff to school. So yes, always. And so the principal even comes up to me. He's like, geez, your daughter's Valentine's were very creative. And <laughs> she, gets That's excited. Awesome. she gets excited about that stuff. Okay. Back to 3D printing. <laughs> Oh, Travis is out of his dress. No. <laughs> All right. Um, real quick, we'll. Um, I'm gonna do the T-shirt drawing real quick, and then we'll do the outros. But in true Friday night hangout uh, fashion, we'll continue the stream after the outros as well. Um, just want to give everybody a chance to tell everybody where they can find them. Um, whether you're on Twitch, YouTube, Patreon, if you're just on Twitter, 
whatever. Um, so we'll do the the t-shirt giveaway here in just a second. Let me get um, get my computer set up to do the screen share. Okay, so I gotta remember how to do the drawing. <laughs> Winners. Ah, there it is. <laughs> Thanks, Tessa. <Dessa. laughs> you can tell I use Gleam all the time, right? Okay, so we have one drawing. There's no invalid entries. Um, again, in order to claim the T-shirt, um, we're going to show who who won, and then um, just call out in the chat if you won. Actually, I'm going to turn off screen sharing here really quick. Can you guys see my screen right now? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to actually stop it really quick because I think this is going to show email addresses too. Yeah, it's back to you now. Okay. Let me do that part. <laughs> okay um yeah because it's showing names and cities and everything and i can't figure out how to get it to go away really quick um the winner is uh richard murray from zadium um he was entry number 18 in the giveaway um and we, we all know richard was obviously here so if he's not in the chat um we'll go ahead and accept that as a winning <laughs> So, sorry, I was going to show it on screen, but I don't want to give away any information. Drum roll, please. Oh, uh, yeah, he's celebrating his birthday. That's right, Nick. Yeah. So, um, I'll get in touch with Richard then and we'll get his information to send a, have Merch Minion send him a t-shirt of his choosing then. So, all right. Um so let's That's go ahead right. and you, do... you won a competition for his birthday. Yeah. yeah. So Richard and Tessa have the same birthday then? Yeah, it Richard. De it depends because I'm on the 23rd and it's it's a time zone thing. Mm -hmm. 23rd here so now. It's the 24th here today the now, here. right now. So, so okay. Tessa's living in the future. Yeah, that's right. So I, I get two days worth of birthday because I'm – ahead of you guys but yeah so you guys would have the same birthday then because it's still the 23rd here yep. so oh, okay hmm. all right so let's go ahead we'll go down the line here real quick with intros but like i said the conversation will still continue afterwards um so let's start with chris oh uh what what am i doing sorry i just got back uh do an outro sorry chris <laughs> oh I, I, yeah, I'm blah, 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 blah. Um, I'm Chris, Practical Printing. Uh, sorry, Tessa, that was your ears. Um, I'm Chris from Practical Printing. I do uh, all sorts of things, usually practical, sometimes not so practical, uh, especially if you tell me that it can't or shouldn't be done. Um, lately, I've been playing with uh, SLA, Harry Lyons, and some other fun stuff. And... Um, Got some good uh, tutorials coming up. I've also been playing with uh, light switches lately. And um, so have a tutorial coming up on how to do that uh, in Fusion 360 soon. And that's it. That's and, <laughs> and next we've got Heather and Travis. Travis, you can do an intro and an outro. <laughs> What's up? Travis from Apart Design. Um, I wear dresses and <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. I uh, do 3D printing, a lot of laser cutting, make cool logos, painting, stuff like that. It's fun. <laughs> and that's it. You got the peanut gallery over here yelling, no, it's not fun. It's not fun. <laughs> it's not fun. <laughs> yeah, like Tess is holding up one that I did right now. Oh, yes. This one. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Are you going to say anything? No, I did the intro. Do I have oh. to do the outro too? Yeah. You just did. 
<laughs> Chelsea's mocking you, saying you make Bunny ears cool and logos. <laughs> <laughs> Chelsea. <laughs> oh yes. So you should print in pink. Yeah. Um. Oh, we didn't. You know, we never ever got to say what we wanted to have happen this year. So we missed yeah, that we'll question. So I'm just going to answer that really quick. Um, our biggest thing, I think, is we're going to try to get more involved with the 3D printing at uh, RE School and in our community. They have a 3D printer and pretty much none of the teachers want to use it. They're all too frightened. And so we're really trying to um, <coughs> promote that mic. more. <coughs> like we printed one of the kids, <coughs> created this in Tinkercad. and. Oh, you muted yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was my internet again. Thank God. <laughs> my or my kids' creation did it. One of the kids at school made this and did it at, at school. Yeah, I know, right? The little feet are like so sad. But uh, so anyway, so we're printing more stuff, trying to expand the kids' uh, horizons about 3D printing at, at the school and stuff. So I don't know what you're... Surprise. Stop. I don't know what you're hoping for for the year. What are you hoping for to accomplish this year? That my brain starts working. I'm still recovering from screaming 50,000 screaming girls. <laughs> so I'm kind of out of Wait, it. Wait, can I say what I want? Yes. Okay, say what you Sorry. want for the year. Um, I want to... Um, Tonight, um, please. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I want the world to be a happier place. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's very wonderful. Thank you, baby. So Sorry, yes, what? you can find all of us on Twitter. Oh, hold on. Matt wants to ask you something. Okay, what? She says, okay, what? <laughs> Where are you going in March? Where are we going to go in March? Next month. M Mer! <laughs> <laughs> She she told me last night as she was going to bed, she said, Mom, why does it have to be so far away? Why can't it be today that we go? <laughs> She's very excited. We all are. Cool. Yes? Yes. All right. That's it for us. <laughs> She's right. going to crash in about 10 minutes. <laughs> all, right, well. 10 minutes. <laughs> all right. On to Joe Mike. Who is currently learning to solder? <laughs> learning, son. Oh, give me a break! I've been <laughs> soldering since you were in diapers. Now, how old are you, Matt? I'm uh, 31. Close, close. Um, we're doing outros because right now yeah. I'm inhaling a lot of Brasso, and it's uh, it's kind of nice. Actually, I told you not to breathe. Well, I've, I've, I've got Brasso. This isn't the solder. You told me not to breathe oh, the solder, I, I did, not okay. this stuff. Okay. <laughs> this, this stuff is great. Um, my name is Joe Mike Terranella, and uh, I have YouTube channel. I have Twitter. I have Instagram. Mojike on Twitter, Jay Terranella on Instagram. Uh, I've been doing on and off live streams of the Pio Poly Mola, Moai. Um, on just how to kind of finish up resin prints as, as I learn how to work that thing, y'all can learn along with me. Uh, if you by chance have a Prusa Mark III and you want to add some, uh, octoprint action to that, uh, I am offering pre-soldered, uh, Raspberry Pi Zeros. That's what I've been doing during the stream is packaging up orders. Uh, actually I had to solder some pies and then I just started packaging up orders. So, um... And now I am finishing up a metal print that I'm testing out the tumbler to make sure that the uh, medium in it isn't going to tear up the, the filament. Because, spoiler alert, there's some metal fill coming in the maker box for February. Um, but you didn't hear that from me. Uh, so, yeah. There you go. That, for February? Me. Did I miss it? Huh? For February? Yeah. Yeah, the, the next maker box will have a metal fill in it. For February. February. There's only a couple I of days left, mate. March. <laughs> I think March. Yeah. Well it's we're technically 
a little behind. Uh, it, this is technically February's box that will be arriving towards the end of February. Um, the January box had the uh, uh, polypropylene in it, the, the verbatim. So that was January's box. So this next box will be February's, and it, it's kind of late on the end of the month kind of deal. Does that make sense? Right, okay. At least that's how it was explained to me. <laughs> I'm done. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, Joe, Mike. <laughs> um, <laughs> all right, and on to Lauren and Nick. How about unmute? I'm yeah. working on it. All right. <laughs> um, I am Lauren from Abuzz Designs, and I make... Uh, 3D printed mouse ears like these ones and sell them on Etsy. Um, and I also stream almost every Monday at eight o'clock <laughs> and uh, I'm trying to do some more actual videos. And uh, the next one is going to be how to make your own polka dotted glasses. So stay tuned for that in the next week. And I am van full of puppies on God Twitch and Twitter and probably Xbox soon when I decide to give them ten bucks so that I can change my username there. Um, and I make Lauren crazy most of the time. That is pretty much what I do. That's his job. Uh, that is my He's job. Really good at it. <clears throat> and during streams, I'm usually the guy on the couch sending in smart Alec remarks, uh, reading off chat, and just generally interacting with people. Good job censoring yourself right there. Yeah, right? I'm trying to not have this demonetized, although I think that one went out the window a while ago. That's all right. I'm not up to uh, enough view hours to get monetized, so... This well, is I think the intro question. video probably did that for you. <laughs> That's why I wasn't worried at all about it. <laughs> Again, you know, Mike, I love the intro, but it so much reminded me of those Saturday Night Live skits with Simon. I really wanted you to draw a picture and ask if somebody was looking at your bum. There's, there's always, there always is the next time, Nick. Right. Hey, my name is Joseph, and I 3D print. Are you looking at my bum? Cheeky you cheeky bum. Bum. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Cheeky on, to, <laughs> on to uh, Martin. Uh, real quick, Martin, before you go, uh, so everybody in the chat knows, um, if you entered the contest for the t-shirt, stick around. We're actually going to draw another one um, in addition to Richard. Go ahead, Martin. Yeah, uh, yeah. My name is Martin, and I have a channel called 3DP Iceland, and I'm on Twitter also as 3DP Iceland. Uh, I've been doing uh, quite a lot of landscape models that I print out and paint, and uh, recently I've started to review filaments and, and try out uh, modeling in Fusion 360. I recently did uh, this uh, GoPro mount for my MK3 printer. And that has got uh, good attention on, on Thingiverse. And I've been doing a lot of filament testing. And recently, I did a filament testing of, of a Colorfab XT filament. And it was in this glorious pink color. And uh, this is one of my favorite models to test test out prints. And uh, but also doing mechanical parts, like uh, this one is a, a, a Raspberry cam mount for the printer. Um, so I've, I've both been doing like organic prints with my landscape and, and, and painting. That's something I enjoy. And I also enjoy creating models in Fusion 360 and, and doing project videos on how I model it and modify my printer setup and, and doing content on my 3D printing journey. So that's me. <laughs> All right. And on to Mitch. Hey, um, again, I'm Mitch 3D on YouTube. I uh, haven't updated lately, but I just created a, I set up a new studio in my new apartment and uh, I'm looking forward to test it out. But work has sent me to St. Louis. And so I'm currently in St. Louis. And then next week I'm going to be in, Kansas City stalking Joe Mike and um, we hanging out. Yeah, 
Um, and then, uh, yeah, so eventually when I actually get back home, I'm going to be working on a project uh, for a backpack 3D printer. It's coming along, uh, so you'll see more uh, features on that soon. Hopefully I'll actually document it this time. And um, then I'll see probably everybody at Murph, hopefully. Um, I'm totally looking forward to it. It's like one of the best things I do now. So uh, I'm definitely looking forward to it. So uh, I'm the Mitch on Mitch, the Mitch 22 on Twitter. So if you want to contact me, let me know. All right, Tessa. Oh, that's me. That's me. <laughs> um, what were we doing? Outros. Yep. Uh, I'm I'm at Sparky Face Five, like like this, but all one word. And uh, on Twitter and Twitch and YouTube and Instagram and Facebook, I'm at Sparky Face Five. <laughs> um, I'm gonna be on Twitch a lot more. Um, I'm always on Twitter. And um, I hope to see you all everywhere. <laughs> That's me. All right, John. Are right, you hear me? Yep. All right, so I want to bring your attention to... Do you see my screen? So this is the... Uh, let me know if you see it. This is the beginning... Yeah, I have a sheet. Thank you. Um, I need your channel art and a headshot. So beginning to work on the marketing material, just getting the initial placement, then I got to work on background and everything. And you can DM me and Twitter. Uh, just a tweet to me if I'm not following you already, and I'll follow you back so you can DM me. As far as following me, of course, you know where I'm at on YouTube. Uh, looking for followers on You Do It Too, U D O I T 2. I think I'm uh, 28 away from becoming an affiliate, so I could use the help there. Uh, on Instagram, U D O I T with dots in between, and U D O I T with underscores in between on Twitter. I do um, a lot of making. Um, let me switch my screen here. Yeah, done screen sharing. So I make a lot of stuff. Uh, you know, you saw Chris's um, i5 outlet, the light switch cover. I've been uh, doing that as well in Fusion 360. I think it's quite awesome to. Uh, key off of the stuff that Chris is talking about. Uh, there's some things that I had difficulty with in the beginning that I think uh, I'd like to see in your videos, Chris, and that's uh, edit, create a sketch, editing a sketch, stopping a sketch, because it's that workflow that I got caught up in, and I'm still occasionally getting caught up in when I'm trying to do something in 3D, or if I'm in 3D and I'm trying to edit a sketch and I forget which mode I'm in. So they're, they're some of the, the key features that I I think I'd like you to cover, Chris. You know, that's part of the basics, but man, that really hung me up. That's it. Definitely, definitely an important one. I know a lot of people will jump in like the uh, <laughs> cylinder tool, like, oh, I can drop in a cylinder. Well, how do I do a sketch now? They didn't realize that they, they just cheated and did a cylinder, you know, a sketch in a yeah. circle and an extrude. All in yeah. one step, but and I'm I'm forcing myself to use this to do like pretty much everything. Like I'm I'm really using you as inspiration, Chris. I mean, I I, I genuinely mean that. Your oh, your you. uh, um, your videos is what really pushed me to like. Okay, he's doing practical printing. If there's ever a thing for me to do, go buy it on Amazon or print it. So I'm. Aaron more towards printing it. That's what I'm doing for these uh, decor faceplate covers. So. You can definitely get creative and, and come up with some unique designs. Yep. Um, uh, actually, Vicky, those are some templates I want to. I have that and I want to send to you too because I think you could actually have some fun with them. 
Okay. And um, so I'm working on a project for Murph. Um, the the artwork for Friday Night 3D Printer uh, Hangouts is is one. Uh, but I have a project that I'm working on that involves the MK Base 1.5 board that controls stepper motors and stuff. So I'll uh, I'll be letting you know more about that when I need help. That's it. Thank you. <coughs> All right, and Vicky. It feels like I was just doing this. Um, <laughs> anyways, hi again. You can hear me this time, right? Yep. Okay. Uh, I'm Vicky Soma. You can find me at Twitter at TGAW. Uh, you can find my YouTube channel at tgall 3 d um, I have an Etsy store, which is under Vicky Teagall. So it's, you know, like all over the place here. Um, you know, I didn't talk about uh, what's coming up in my year. And uh, I have two events that are coming up in the short term. Um, the first is Maker Fair Nova, which is going to be the weekend before MRF. It's going to be the March 18th at George Mason University. It's always a super, super fun time. Um, this will be my fourth year doing a booth there. Um, this year I'm concentrating on upcycling projects. Um, so uh, with 3D printing. So I have some projects with Tic Tac containers and soda cans. And then um, we drink a lot of coffee in my house. We have one of those Keurig brewers. So we're also working on K-Cup projects. And I thought I had little example handy. Uh, so I've been cutting them up and making them into like little flowers. And so I have to bring 3D printing into it because my booth is 3D printing, upcycling with 3D printing. So I've been printing little centers for them that um, my four-year-old uh, son and my three-year-old niece have been helping me. We assemble them. And right now what it's looking like I'm doing is making a nice big giant lampshade. Wow. Um, for my maker fair yeah i thought i was done i thought i had oh. enough daisies but we need more that is so cool yeah it's awesome <laughs> thank you Drink um, more coffee yeah well we have we have plenty it's cutting these things up um but i have helpers and um it's stuff you can do while the kids are at jiu-jitsu class so it's easy for uh, multitasking um and then after that, we have the East Coast Rip Rap Festival, which is going to be June uh, 22nd, 23rd, and 24th in Bel Air, Maryland. And so this is, you know, sort of in my neck of the woods. So that'll be uh, something I'm concentrating on and trying to help with. So East Coast Rip Rap Festival. It's going to be awesome. Everyone should go. Uh, yeah. I've got my tickets already. <laughs> I don't think, uh, I think the tickets were live for like 15 minutes and I had mine purchased. <laughs> Dude. I don't have any tickets. Camping out. I don't have to camp out. I live close enough. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, so uh, I said we'd do can another. Can we talk about East Coast Rep Rep real quick? Yeah. Go for can it. We? That yeah, I was, absolutely, I gentlemen. Using, I was using the, the potty. I apologize. Um, luckily I've got my wireless, like, my buddy, so I, I hear you. You're not what? even a father yet and you're already using potty. You are, all, you are ready. You're ready. I'm, I'm <laughs> working on it. I've, I've had the dad jokes down for years. Uh, it's just getting the nomenclature, uh, tacked down. Um, did you tell him about the donations yet, Nick? Like there's a, a GoFundMe for earth. Yep. And if you've got like, uh, I don't know, like five, 10 bucks, go to the GoFundMe and help uh, get Earth going. Um, every little bit helps. And uh, I don't have the link to that off of my head. Uh, I can tell you that the link for it is eastcoastreprapfestival.com. And I believe linked right on the front page for that is a donate button up at the right hand side, top right hand side, which will bring you right to the uh, the GoFundMe page to donate. Awesome. But also yeah, go go donate and uh, get information about the Pinewood Derby. And actually, one of the uh, founders of, of Earth or one of the board members for Earth 
uh, Mr. Chris Pileski is out tonight helping to set up with a Boy Scout troop. He's actually in the chat. Oh, he and he's in the chat. Uh, I just lost what, my chat window. Was out tonight setting up with a Boy Scout troop the uh, the Pinewood Derby track that we're going to be using at Earth. Um, so he's getting a good look at how that whole situation is going to run. So people who want to create their own 3D printed uh, derby cars. Uh, the rules are up on the Earth website for that as well, so you can learn what you're doing and uh, how to do it. I mean, we've got people who are already saying that uh, they're going to win and we should just hand them the trophy. That is obviously wrong. I'd like to see them try. It is obviously wrong. I'm going to talk to the Swedish sensation, a Mr. Daniel Norea, about a collaborative project <laughs> to see if I can get a 3D printed open RC F1 uh derby vehicle so that's yeah. cheating you have to do it yourself I did, I did, I did. it's a collaborative project you have to do it he yourself. can't make it to her if it's a collaborative project <laughs> he's going to be racing wheels one wheel on one track one wheel in the other <laughs> but, let's face it this is me it's pretty much going to be carbon fiber with weight in it <laughs> <laughs> you could use metal fill so a slice of cheese with lead shot <laughs> <laughs> What did you do? Well, I carved out a hunk of cheese and uh, put some wheels on it and some lead shot, and it's good to go. I'm going to do my best to uh, to make it out to Earth. It's Excellent. a little bit further away from me than Murph is. Um, and it's it's close but... for you, too. You're talking about five weeks before you're going to have a little one due, so. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's it's might be like my last... It won't be my last. What am I talking about? I'm going to keep going. Nothing's changing. Nothing's changing, Nick. <laughs> oh, that's so sweet. He believes it. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I'm, I'm, I'm going to try to make it out to, to Earth and, and help support that. And I'd like to see that get off the, the ground. Um, so I'll do my best. We've got a fantastic, I, I, and I, I'm going to say this, I've seen the pictures of it. I love the venue for Earth. Um, it is definitely a different feel for Mur than Murph for people who have uh, who have attended Murph before. Um, you know, we, we're not on a 4-H campground, which has its own quaintness, or 4-H uh, fairground, which has its own quaintness. It is definitely an arena that we're in for this, um, which makes sense for Maryland in June. Uh, air conditioning is an important thing. Um, so... Yeah, super, super excited yeah, about all this. Yeah, because you don't like up. me when I'm humid. No, <laughs> no, and that goes for Laura and uh, Summer as well. <laughs> all right, um, real quick, let's. Uh, I did the second drawing for the T-shirts. Um, this one is actually going to be sponsored from Heather and Travis at A Power Design and the 3D Pink Mafia. Um, the second winner is Eddie Moser. So, Eddie, I'm um, pretty sure you're still in the chat. Yeah, there you are. You're in the chat, yep. Um, go ahead and just post in the chat that you want to claim your prize. Um, for both of the winners, and I'll message you guys as well to give you the details on this, I have to get in contact with Merch Minion first before you place your order. Um, and then Merch Minion will go ahead and actually – contact you get sizes collars all that stuff um and if you guys want if you really want to please heather since they were awesome enough to sponsor a second one there is a pink option for the shirts too <laughs> no pressure no pressure <laughs> the three mafia is a nice mafia <laughs> Except for when it's not. <laughs> what? <laughs> what mafia in history has ever been nice? This mafia. <laughs> you wait till we get our glitter guns yeah. out. <laughs> whoa, whoa. No, 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 no. 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 3D printed glitter gun contest. Go. That would be amazing. Uh, no. I think that's <laughs> Did you see Joe's face? Uh-uh. No. <laughs> I, I told yes, the little so if they brought a glitter that. gun to to Murph that I'm gonna give them a wide berth if they uh, if they bring that glitter gun that they're talking about. Or for me, no yeah. glitter gun spy what? versus spy Murph. <laughs> oh, you all can have all the glitter. Have fun with it. Uh, like every other battle with guns, everybody's a loser. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. 
Yeah, if you guys are going to do glitter guns, it needs to be a cage match, like in, in glass like walls. Plex, I was going to say plexiglass like, or glass. Everybody inside a bubble. <laughs> <laughs> There's hamster, yeah. human hamster ball things. Exactly. <laughs> I was so going to. Everyone's going to come out of that looking like they were in a strip club. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to send Lauren's uh, Friday night logo, the 3D printed one, with a glitter bomb. I realized that after I stuck it in the mailbox that I should have just filled the whole thing with glitter. Just <laughs> a really idea where you're going to be out at Murph, Matt. I mean, just. <laughs> I would have loved it. He may have divorced me. That's okay. I've got others in waiting, apparently. <laughs> There's always Laura. You know they all love glitter just as much. <laughs> well, Summer was a stripper, so yeah, probably. <laughs> how, how does how does that work if somebody has like a split personality or three personalities? Can you divorce just one of those three? <laughs> that would be <laughs> That feels like a legal and psychological question at the same time. I can answer part of that. <laughs> I won't, but I can. <laughs> Save that for Murph. Exactly. No, this is this is a discussion over rum plus plus. Yes. <laughs> or plus plus rum, whatever. <laughs> hey, you know what? You reminded me of something, not the, the rum part. But um, speaking of things looking forward to this year, so Nick, can you describe the Trico? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Where did that – that came from a uh, – that came from a, a chat. Uh, actually, it was probably a, a Friday night yes. hangout chat. Yeah. Uh, yeah, where, where, yeah, where Mr. Practical Printing and uh, Pooch, who Lord only knows where he's at at the moment. Um, I'm actually going to assume it has something to do with glitter because it's Pooch. Um, <laughs> we, were, we were having a discussion about the best way to uh, reinvent tacos. Not that they need reinventing. But so that everybody could have shell and like the trico was born. The idea that you have a taco with three sides to it, uh, just lots of shell, lots of lots of goodness to it. Um, we haven't found sponsors or backers for it yet. Again, I blame Pooch. Uh, he's supposed to be wooing uh, baronesses and such. And there has been no wooing that I'm aware of. Um, again, not surprised. It's Pooch. Uh, I hear you not taking... <laughs> Any look, responsibility. Look, look, Chris no, and no, I were the only people sign around this. Pooch had one job. Why not make a taco, um, the the shell into the shape of an ice cream cone? Hmm. Oh. An ice cream you know taco. I've seen, I've seen that somewhere. The problem Have with you? that, I think, the problem with that, Tessa, is the toppings to taco ratio at that point, because all the toppings would have to be on the top of it. And so you'd get down into the ice cream cone, and you wouldn't have the toppings down there. It no, would just be. There's a place that does that, and they layer it. it it's, oh, there's a thing called a choco taco. taco. It's called layers. There's, there's <laughs> also this thing called a chimichanga, which is basically all that you're doing wrapped up and fried. And, and amazing. Yeah, well, that's you a good point. Americans are weird. Everything's fried, right? Layers. <laughs> 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 Tessa, it's like we don't have an obesity problem here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We're statistically the thinnest country in the world. What are you talking about? Well, yes, the the original idea was that three people could eat a trico at the same time. I wouldn't say the three of us could eat it at the same time. Because Did you end up kissing in the middle? Uh, like Lady in the Tramp? Yeah. Well, wait a second. Wait a second a three-way man. taco kiss. Nick, you already have a trico in your house then. Anytime you guys eat tacos and Laura and Laura and Summer are all there eating it. <laughs> wow. Well, Qu quadco. <laughs> so the reason I asked. The longer this stream continues to go, the better chance that we're just going to need a taco bowl with multiple edges. <laughs> so uh, the, reason, the reason I asked you. Salad. There you go. Sorry. The reason I asked for you to describe to everybody in the chat who had, hadn't been around for that original conversation that uh, transpired in the chat, um, I have an idea Ooh. on how to make it actually work, and it includes 3D printing. Hold on, I've got a great, uh, I've got a great visual for this. 
I'm scared. <laughs> you should be too. Oh God. Are you grabbing my hat? <laughs> oh, they're gonna hate so, it. it. Whatever, it's Patriots, get over it. We live in New England. Uh, <laughs> imagine this. They can't see it. Okay. It's up here. Imagine this in taco shell form filled with goodness. That's exactly what I was picturing, minus the whole right? Is that a people in a Bill's hat? What is it? That's uh, a pa Patriot's hat. The old no, I'm old just messing. Well, and, and not just that, but you can have, since it's three-sided, you can have carne asada on one side, you can have alpastora on another, and you can have chicken or uh, pollo on the other side. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can How do you go from all those fancy ones? Chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you did say polo first. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> but yeah, so I do have an idea that I'm I'm working on for uh, maybe we'll have an unveiling at Earth, maybe. Ooh. This is a possibility since we usually get tacos. And... Yeah, no, we can make this happen. I'm like, you have to make it parametric, though, so that you can choose the number of sides of the taco. But you just type in a number and it generates the shape of the taco. So wait a second. Wait, wait, are we now? Are we now talking about a corn tortilla printer? It is actually going to print the corn shell itself. Yeah, I'm I'm sure. <laughs> no, that'd be wrong. I have a genuine concern about this, people. I mean, Nick, that hat. <laughs> like, if I if I picture and visualize that as a taco shell, you know, the middle is going to be like non edible by hand uh -huh. by the time that the shells have been depleted down to the to the center. So right. at that so point then you're right. eating it the right before. whoever gets there first gets to eat it. It it's like taco death match at the same <laughs> time, Joe Mike. <laughs> so it's like hungry, hungry hippos, but with taco. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Pretty much. Okay. <laughs> if your taco crumbles, does it become nachos? Yes. It could. Yeah. I'm not sure. Oh, can, can fill that center <laughs> part up with uh, like guacamole or just you know bean. That's dip what or... I was thinking. See, cheese. Like, so many. Oh yeah, Melted so many nacho cheese. If it's like a, a like a nacho cheese, you pour it in there, and as you're eating it, it like hey, nacho cheese into the. Throat. <laughs> That's nacho <your> cheese. <laughs> <laughs> This really digressed. <laughs> no, this, whole, this whole thing has it me is. very hungry. Me too. I know. It's I didn't eat dinner yet. It's one o'clock in the afternoon and it's time for food. It's 11 o'clock at night here. It's usually it's about, about the time for Tessa. Mm, I'm hungry. Stop it. Yeah. <laughs> for something not fried, though. It, does that even <laughs> exist, Joe Mike? Apparently, in in oh, yeah, <laughs> apparently America is is the fried. You know what? We are statistically the thinnest. I can't even say that with a straight face. <laughs> <laughs> if it's not fried, it's stuffed with um like seven different meats. Right. Well, well that's as it should be. All the bacon. Yeah, Ugh. capicola. But yeah, I mean. Yeah, like bacon and like bacon bits bacon. and like pork wait, belly. Wait, so and... if, if you what have a magical animal, Lisa, sure. <laughs> exactly. It's so good. It's so good. If you have a purely grass fed cow, could that be considered vegan meat? Pepperoni? I, I eat vegetarians. <laughs> Italian sausage. <laughs> Ham. Turkey. Smoked turkey. Uh, I lost sheep. track of what your mic's naming meets for. <laughs> <laughs> this also Ground sounds like beef. your your list of lubricants that you I'm, use for oh, your food. Okay. I'm I'm assuming that your mic is this all off because uh -huh. he lives in one of the meat capitals of the country and he's bringing them all to Murph for us. If it would if it would keep on its way to Murph, I would be more than happy to bring all the meat. Figure it Murph, out. But... Don't truck. <laughs> If that's a nine-hour drive, I don't know how it's going to mm. – I'm not Domino's. I don't have one of those special cars with a heating compartment. Dry ice. <gasps> yet. Dry ice. Not yet. Hey, hey, Joe, Mike, I heard you can get grow tents that do that kind of stuff. Uh, you need to get an adapter for your car and then plug a crock pot in or some sort of could, device. 
I could hey, get. I, have uh, a, I do have, have an electric inverter. Coolers. Well, why would I? I wouldn't keep it cool. I would keep it warm. Like I would. Well, they, like, they do both. You throw, just yeah, plug it. Do the slow cooker, crock pot sort of thing. <laughs> I've got. I've got multiple ceramic heaters that I use to keep these enclosures warm, and I'll just throw some barbecue in an enclosure, throw the the, the heaters on a large inverter, and see what happens. Done. Do it. <laughs> Uh, Chelsea Frozen said she'll bring the beef. Go wrong. Right. <laughs> yeah, Chelsea's... what will go wrong is I will Bye, eat every Logan. single bit of it by the time we get to Indiana. <laughs> I was going to say, that that could go wrong. You can't be in the same car with it and not. I mean, I, was... I use a slow cooker all the time in the house, and I don't get to leave here. So I sit here all day while it's slow cooked, smelling amazing. And Lauren comes in, and she's like, Oh, that smells delicious. I'm like, I know. I've been here for nine hours. <laughs> that's called torture, Nick. Yeah, that's that's a little bit masochist. Hey, back. Or sadist. I can't remember. Hey what back. For what? <laughs> Name it. Making you breakfast and coffee every morning? Oh, yeah, you do do that. I'm spoiled. <laughs> the nerve of you making breakfast and coffee each morning. <laughs> and pack her oh, lunch. Wait, wait, wait. And pack her lunch. <laughs> You mean grabbing me a yogurt and Matt, an apple? Make breakfast. <laughs> He's such a good housewife. I, I, I mean, really husband. <laughs> what she doesn't know is most of the day while she's gone, I just hit the bottle of wine. So I love potatoes. Oh my god. Sorry, chat, chat. <laughs> yeah, you know, so. That's actually what my wife's been craving as like her number one while she's been pregnant is potato everything. Like we have a McAllister's. Uh, near Get curly us. fries. Curly fries are delicious. You need to make her poutine. Okay with like. A what? Poutine. It's yes. uh, it's it's French fries, and you cook the fries, and then you cover them with cheese curds, and then you dump hot gravy on top of it, and it melts the cheese curds to the fries. It's What's oh, a cheese curd? Yes. Oh. What's a cheese curd? <laughs> What's a cheese curd? So really? before they b before they actually process cost. the cheese into the blocks that everybody is used to getting, yeah, cheese is actually in curd form. It looks like little uh, kernels of cheese. Oh, yeah. Cheese. Okay. Yeah. Think of popcorn chicken, but cheese. But exactly. cheese, <laughs> and not breaded, and not right. fried, and nothing like chicken. But yes, yeah, <laughs> <But, laughs> you can get you can get them fried. Fried cheese curds is yes, a thing. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. But you and it's a delicious put that thing. It's it's no, also called but... beer cheese in other parts of the world. Yeah, okay. beer cheese, yep. Delicious oh. cheese. That reminds anyway, me. Anyway, poutine been... sounds nice. Yeah, yeah poutine yeah. barbecue yeah. poutine's good also. Where instead of the gravy, you use a, a, a barbecue sauce with meat broth in it. Yep. But I've had that. I'm more of a that. like an all jus barbecue sauce. Sauce. It's a thick barbecue sauce. I mean, it's it's got your sweet and tangy to it, but more of the meat chunks in it, like pizzas uh, of brisket in it, uh, on top of the fries. And, so is yep. this canteen like the the shampoo? <laughs> <laughs> it won't happen overnight, but it will happen. It, it, it'll make your hair nice and shiny. Yeah, <laughs> no, that's it. Yeah. Just take the inappropriate saying for the female anatomy and then change the back end of it to teen, and you got it. <laughs> that is a great way of, yeah i will never forget it now joe like i can't say i'm ever going to eat it the same way again either i'm gonna get me some poutine <laughs> hello 11 o'clock I've, I've been waiting for you yeah i was gonna say we're past midnight oh, yeah, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> true friday night uh tradition <laughs> yep it's Saturday morning cartoons in Australia right now, though. Oh. Oh. Too much food talk. I'm going to go have lunch. See you guys. <laughs> See you. <laughs> See you Bye. Bye. And now instead of Heather, we have Travis, even though when I hover over, it says Heather. Heather. <laughs> What's up? Oh, God, this? I didn't recognize him without the dress on. <laughs> <laughs> Drinking the animal. Is he drinking apple juice? Apple juice. Totally apple so juice. What's, what's your goals this year, Travis? Um, to just actually put more content out and keep consistent with it. Not um, you know, because I went through a rough patch in 
November, December, where I just didn't do anything. And I just like lost like so much momentum. And now when I release videos, I get like a couple hundred views, it feels like. So I'm trying to be consistent, release content, um, just have fun with it. Cool. What you should do, just have fun with the process. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I just need when to I put first... a camera in here so that it can watch me doing my stuff so that it's live and raw so people can Boy. see the real side of 3D printing. Oh, <laughs> that's called <laughs> voyeurism. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, that's exactly what I do with the, the MoAI live streams. Is I mean, I just... Yeah. I turn on the camera and I go to town and start post-processing resin prints. And, uh, you know, if something happens, something happens. And something usually does happen. Um, <laughs> something always but it's happens. fun. You know? It's like, oh, I broke that in half. Well, that's what happens. This is the real <laughs> world, people. The crystal skull was the coolest, though, with the uh, black light. I've never seen something like that before. That was awesome. Yeah, I was a little uh, taken aback by how awesome that was, because uh, I wasn't expecting that either. Like the blue was really cool under the black light, but as soon as I got that clear resin in there, it was really just like glowed, like it was possessed. And I was like, "Oh, clear! I love you, clear!" And then <laughs> once you get the clear out and you get the the triple gloss coat on there, and it brings back the transparency. Oh, man, that stuff's so cool. Yeah, I gotta get one of those. Yeah. You're sick. Well, I'm gonna bail everyone. Make sure you send me your headshots if you have it. And your channel artwork and I'll add it in. I plan on finishing it this weekend. <laughs> Somebody didn't like what was happening on the stream. <laughs> what was that dog? <laughs> Apparently every time I talk, dogs bark. <laughs> Every time you say headshot, I think Counter Strike. <laughs> I think PUBG. Yes, PUBG. Of course you do. Everyone's I playing that. Yeah. Right, Holy Joe, Mike, you need to get on it. Now's your opportunity before you have a kid. No, no, no. I'll no. I can't. I, I swore off console gaming a couple of years ago. I can't get back into that devil. I think they. I think Nick said the other day they have it on PC, Joe. Mike. Yes, they do. <laughs> well, let's not even let's not even say that, okay? Yeah, I mean, we're <laughs> you, can, you can stream your gaming. And let's just pretend like uh, that, that, that's that's bad not influences. Thing. I don't know what you're talking about. Quit yeah, being we're, pushers. We're, we're, they don't have a Mac version. Freaking enablers! No, no oh, Mac like I don't have PCs laying around either. <laughs> I could be a Best Buy with all the laptops I've got sitting around this joint. <laughs> all right, guys. Well, happy anniversary. I'm going to cut out. Uh, See you, Jason. It's been awesome. Thanks so much for uh, bringing me into this community. Later, man. And uh, we'll talk later. Yep. Thanks yes. for being a part yeah. of it. Yeah. Right, uh, yeah. 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 Right, Johnny boy. Yeah. I actually need to cut out, too. I'm freezing my buttocks off out here. Didn't you just no. install? Oh no, you guys just have air conditioning out there. You don't yeah, have. Don't you? Well, that's my office. Chris? I'm in the garage. Oh, oh you know, Chris, <laughs> we're in California. We're not allowed. We're not allowed to complain about that stuff. <laughs> yeah, you jerks. <laughs> no, what is that? Wait, only fifty-two. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, what is it? About sixteen Celsius. Your ther thermometer in Celsius. Yeah, sixteen so Celsius is above sixty degrees. So shut it. <laughs> yeah, what the? F <laughs> so, I'm in bare feet on the concrete floor. Oh no, that's, sixty that's degrees. Short. Yeah, that that's on you. Sixty yeah. degrees is like a good summer day here in Iceland. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah it's same thing here in five New degrees above short weather in August. Yeah. Anyway, I'll see you all next time. <laughs> see you, Chris. Yes. Killing me. Hello. Uh. Hi, Chris. See you, Chris. Seeing what's going on in the chat here. You have same. to learn empathy. I don't have it. <laughs> we know this. Nick learned today that he doesn't have empathy. 
No, it's on not going to. On a 3D printing tool more. note, uh, for, for anyone who has to, like, to deal with like stringing and stuff, I went to Target and I found this natural home bamboo uh, pot scrubber, dish scrubber. And this thing is kick butt for just getting all the little wisps of filament stringing off of prints. Uh, the bristles are just uh, strong enough. Like, because I print out these stupid, uh, well, I'm out of them now, but I print out the, the cases for the, the Mark III, and since I have to print them so quickly, it strings a lot. And so I just go over it real quick with this thing. It takes all the strings right off. So um, I love I that tip. Uh, this one I got from Target, but I mean, it's, it's just a, a stiffer, natural bristled uh, dish thingy-mabobber scrubber. Mm -hmm. one's, this one's a natural home from Tar Target. So cool. I'm making a video on the scrubber, right? <laughs> yeah, an, an entire <laughs> video dedicated to the scrubber. <laughs> but if I had an Amazon affiliate link, yes. <laughs> That's actually a really good tip, though. I might have yeah. to uh, yeah. keep that in mind the next time I go to Target. Well, I've been like just taking it all with my hands, like scrubbing it mm -hmm. off with the hands, kind of doing the, the booger method. And it was like getting all over the place and all over the floor, all over my clothes. And, and I was like, there's got to be a, an easier way to just take this off and without having to use like a hot, a heat gun or something like that, which I use for thicker stringing, but for like the wisps and stuff that are between parts and, and stuff like that, just real quick rub down with this guy and uh, they're gone. So. I've always just used a wire brush. And a heat gun. Yeah, well, and a heat gun. But or, for littler wisps, I've always just used a wire brush because I have one sitting here. Yeah. It's essentially the, the same thing. The only thing that's really different about it is just, like, the hand grip and the fact that it has uh, natural bristles instead of uh, plastic or anything like that. So it doesn't scratch up the, the PLA at all. And it's just it's gentle enough on it, but it, it does the job, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. Yeah, I've always tried to tune it out, like, with the retractions and temperatures, but no matter how much I try, like, there's still just filament that strings and oozes. I yeah. kind of got well, I mean, I've point, got... Like, besides, like, wood fill, like, Lauren if you, and Vicky, if you guys look at your logo, the wood fill, I have a hell of a time with that stringing on those, but... um Besides the wood fill, I've never really had stringing bad enough that, you know, real quick, like Joe Mike said, using the, as he put it, the booger method, <laughs> wipe it off and uh, most of them flake off and then hit it with a heat gun real quick and most of it disappears. But I could see that being useful for something bigger. Like I'm getting ready. Um, last night I took a model of uh, SpaceX um, Spaceman suit and scaled it up. Uh, I forget what the total was. Uh, two thousand eighty three percent, I think it was, um, from the original size of the model that I'm using, so I can print it full size and wearable. Something like that brush would be perfect for on the inside. Just take it and rub it around inside of one of the helmets to clean it up, <laughs> which will allow me to print pretty fast. Uh, hey, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm like, gonna go. So, good night, Travis. Good night. Good night. Thanks, guys. Um, yeah, for, for me, it was, is purely like a, uh, cause I, I've got a, like a production method for all this crap. So I needed a quick way to get all this off of there. Um, and I didn't want to mess with the heat gun. So I just decided to give it a shot and blah, 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 blah. And yeah. So, you know, for, for quick cleans, it's good. I imagine at some point I'm going to have to get in here and clean out the bristles, but Whatever. That's my quick tip for the night. Yeah, I like it. Thank you. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm pooped. <laughs> you're pooped. Um, anybody else have any projects that they want to accomplish this year? Throughout, whether it's videos, 
uh, 3D prints. Anything you guys want to talk about? I want to quit my job. I'm working to quit my job. Hey, that is can't argue with that. that. That was an oxymoron. I'm working to quit my job. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that's that that would my be real nice. Make prior, my make my business successful enough to quit my job. Prior to that, though, and I wonder how this fits in because there's that space downtown too. Yeah, there's a space downtown that we really want to buy. So and move into for businesses. It's an old bank building and it's amazing. Yeah, it has a vault and everything. Several vaults. <laughs> That would make a good uh, printer farm, right? Okay. It even has like the old you... um, safety deposit boxes on the wall still. That's awesome. Hold all the filament rolls. It's so cool. Yep. That'd be so cool to like have you like open up the vault and be like, "Come into the farm." <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, you were printing ABS the entire time. You open the door and just pass out. <laughs> Nylon. It's like, oh, oh. <laughs> I'm gagging from the nylon that's just printing in my uh, hemp. T I mean, my uh, grow tent. My <laughs> um, I want to print the the world's smallest functional uh, open RC car because uh, the gauntlet was thrown down. Someone, po I, yeah, I know I Daniel I posted that. it, and uh, it got me thinking. There's these little micro. Uh, race cars that you can get off Amazon that are fully controllable. Yeah. And so gutting one of those things and then using the Moai to print out all the uh, the parts for a, a Micron. I still need to build a full-size one for Murph, though. I don't know if I'm going to get that done in time. Oh, uh, you can get it done. Do it. I, I have a whole bunch of crap on my plate. I mean, I'm literally, like, working while doing the stream. I mean, it's like... And then I've got, I've got other... Uh, I've got one, two, two printers now full-time. Oh, that's sick. That's Venom. Yeah. I like it. Um, I've got two printers full-time printing out these stinking uh, Mark III modified electronics cases because I can't... I can't keep them long enough. They get ordered and out. So it's like two of my printers are tied up all the time there. And So you need that printer that I've got in my head. <laughs> I've been thinking about, like, for people who do Etsy and, like, things like you're doing, Joe Mike, where it's repetitive, you need to print a bunch of them. A big, huge printer, 500 by 500 by, like, 30. <laughs> something short but huge that can just print out a lot of small things that you just keep running it through starts printing it back it works its way forward or something the black belt that's the black belt pretty much the yeah belt. You need the black belt yeah. yeah i need a black belt see i can't use something like that because every single print is in a different color right yeah and you do multicolor prints too yeah i mean i just printed in mint and now i'm doing light green yeah yeah like when yeah, we were it would work ready. for me because mine's all black, but I mean, still, I, that's the only thing I'd probably use a belt printer for, and I don't know if I could justify the cost of a belt printer just to print out these cases over and over when eventually, you know, the demand for these things is going to be minuscule. Yeah. Right. Unless he, he does something else. Look for the cracks. <laughs> Business 101. <laughs> that one's for free. <laughs> I'm going to bed. <laughs> so when uh, did yeah, you record the, the bathtub video, Joe Mike? Yesterday. Uh, so the funny story about that is, you know that, uh, that crawl-up scene where I'm in the bathtub and it's approaching the bathtub? Obviously, someone else had to record that. Um, so I'm like, Initially, I was like laying back in the tub, like relaxing, and my, my wife was using my gimbal to kind of sneak up, and she could not get a shot when she come up over the, the bathtub. She could not get a shot that did not show things that I don't <laughs> want to be. <laughs> so Bravo, that's, that's why I'm, Bravo. That's why I'm hanging off the edge of the, the tub <laughs> on the initial 
one is because that, that was a safe call. So, uh, yeah, and, and she ended up doing like, I want to say somewhere around 10 or 11 takes of that little crawl. And by that time, I'm like pruning up and I'm like, I got to get to the other ones. Come on. He's like, well, <laughs> you're your dilly dangle was in was in that shot i don't want i don't want you to use that shot i'm like i don't want to use that shot either yeah no i'm glad you kept it <laughs> vicky you didn't get to see that um Jeremy, mike are you okay with either me posting that as a unlaggy version or if you want to post it and so that we can Did share it, out? it okay i'm fine with posting it um Vicky, you'll have to check that out, the, okay. the intro that we had to the stream tonight. Unfortunately, it was a little bit laggy. So for anybody in the chat that does want to see that without any lag and without the live voiceover, um, <laughs> yeah, that I'll, have, fun, though. I'll upload it tonight. <laughs> well, you yeah, know what was that... really weird? So you're doing the live voiceover, and I've also got it playing through my headphones at the same time on my computer as I played the video. So I'd hear one thing, and then I'd hear you say the other, so I could compare how accurate you were. <laughs> I, I would imagine it's pretty accurate, because I literally did the voiceover uh, I, about an hour before the stream started. I mean, oh, right I did it right before, it <laughs> right before I sent it to you. I, I had the, the, the snowball mic sitting and just doing the voiceover while watching it, and my wife was like, I'm hungry. Let's go eat. And I'm like, I got to get this done and get it to Matt. <laughs> And one thing you don't do is keep a pregnant woman away from food. Bad idea. <laughs> so I put my life on the line for you, Matt. You're welcome. Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> and now <laughs> you can reward me by releasing me to bed. <laughs> yep, I'm at it. <laughs> All right. Thanks, um, thanks for joining us, Joe Mike. Yeah. Con congratulations, everyone, on one beautiful year on the stream. Uh, thank you so much for allowing me to be a part of it. Uh, it means a lot to me. It's something that I also look forward to doing um, when I have the, the chance to get in and, and the chat. Thank you guys for, for always being awesome and for joining. Uh, so, yeah. It's night-night time. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Thanks, Jeremy. Jeremy. Thanks for being a part of it. My pleasure, always. I'll see you guys. See you, Jeremy. Yeah, I think I'm going to bed. Also, it's it's five thirty in the morning, and I'm getting pretty tired. <laughs> yeah, so. For anybody in the that's in the chat who doesn't know, Martin gets up at what like three thirty in the morning or something like that to join us every time, and he's been he's yeah. been a regular at doing that too. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how yeah. you do it. Yeah, I I just don't go to sleep. So, <laughs> so <bad. laughs> yeah. Do all matter. Yeah, I couldn't do it. Props to you. Seriously. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So uh, I'll see you guys and thanks for the stream. Yep. See you, Martin. Hey. Thanks for joining hey. us. <sighs> and then there there's, were five. There's still 35 people watching. Is right. it 35 yet? I haven't even been watching the number tonight. Um, I know the chat's still going pretty active. Although Brandon keeps track of every time somebody else signs off, he's reciting uh, another one bites the dust. <laughs> <laughs> so, what are you guys up to? You're looking at it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there'll be uh, there'll be some work tomorrow on the A net to uh, try to put TPU through it for the first time ever. Uh, see if we can get some some open uh, RC F1 tires done. Is I don't remember. Is the ANET boat in or is that direct drive? Direct, direct drive. drive. Yeah. Okay, so it shouldn't be too bad then. No, I'm, I'm thinking it should be okay. But I need to print a. But roll. it is crispy, so you never know. Yeah. yeah. In the past week, crispy got seventy something hours done on a on a Hulk axe. So I'm impressed. Wow. That's the. Uh, the SpaceX helmet that I want to print. So far, every way I've sliced it, the smallest I can get the print time down to is 126 hours. And I have Ooh. no idea why. <laughs> like, I'm watching, like, Clayton or Uncle Jesse. Um, hell, heck, even uh, Pooch just printed a Stormtrooper helmet the other night. 
in like 21 hours or 22 hours while he was down at uh, Travis and Heather's, he was had that print, I guess, at home. And he already had it done up. I'm not sure how he finished it, but he had it colored and painted and everything already. I'm like, what am I missing here? Why can't I get my CR-10 to go that quick? <laughs> I got to get working on a model. Uh, I don't know if you guys saw Dave's tweet earlier about the open RC stuff for Murph. Like, he talked to me about doing something for that. So I don't, I don't know if he wants me to share that, but. <laughs> no. Oops. I always do that on these streams. At the end. The again at the end of the hey, <laughs> two and a half hours in, nobody watches this far. <laughs> Except for the, 30, what was it, Nick? 35 people watching? <laughs> yeah, 30, 35. I gotta get going on that. I don't have that much time. You said for Murph. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. That yeah. time's gonna come flying quick. I know Maybe we're going down to Nova Maker Fair um, in March. Was that March 18th, Vicky? March 18th. Yeah, we're going down there for that. Um, I'd like to get down to Printed Solid March 4th for their meetup. It would be the first one I finally get to go to. Um, first time in like a year that it hasn't been when i'm on call but that time's flying i mean like even the logos that i sent out to you guys um that went took a lot longer than i expected but then like i spent all all of last week and most of the weekend trying to make these t-shirts for you guys and it mm -hmm. just i had so many problems with it <laughs> this is the only good one that i got the rest of them are really Kind of messed up. <laughs> you were making them yourself. Yeah, I'm doing the screen printing myself. Nice. Trying to. Uh, yeah. I think. I think what happened is I bought for these shirts. I bought the photo emulsion off Amazon, and I think I got a bad batch of it uh, because the stuff either cures fully, um, and like you have like no time to rinse off the uncured stuff, mm -hmm. or. Um, it doesn't cure at all. Like it just, it was all over the place out of the same bottle and it's mixed up well, but yeah, I've never just, done any screen printing. <laughs> this one, I actually ended up just sticking the uh, vinyl off my die cutter on the screen and taping it and then printing it through that. <laughs> but that's only good for like two shirts. <laughs> so yeah, I was going to offer up shirts, um, that I printed, but then I thought, yeah, you know what? Merch Minion's way too good at it. So that's why I ended up going with Merch Minion to do the shirts for the Friday night hangouts. Yeah, have you seen that printer run? It's pretty crazy. Uh, yeah, it's basically like a Cartesian printer, isn't it? Basically just yeah. the shirt runs through and it prints it out. Yeah, it prints out like all the white first, like the background, and it prints the col color over the top of it. It's weird. Okay. She, she's done a lot of live streams lately. Where's yeah? Where's she live streaming at? Over on Twitch. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I have to find out. Or go find her. Um, she told me when we were talking that she does a lot of streaming, and I thought about like the design and stuff, or something else like gaming and stuff like that. Yeah, it was just when she's just when she's printing shirts. She just live streams. <laughs> I was just reading in the chat. Tony Ryan said the photosensitive screen printing film rather than the liquid. I'll have to look into that. It's one of those yeah, things like okay. I got the screen printing set up because there's like, you know, I'd like to make a couple of one off t shirts and stuff just for myself rather than going out and buying them. So, like, I got the setup to do screen printing and I've had some successful prints with it. I did all my daughter's cheerleading squads t-shirts this past summer um and they came out fine but this time with the shirts i, I think it was partially just the fact that i was rushing so much <laughs> yeah that'll always mess up a lot of things if you rush. yeah I've, I've messed up a lot of uh just things that i've painted when i just tried to touch it too fast or paint over the part that i already had. yeah i have speaking of finishing parts and screwing them up, I have a white um, rattle can that I've bought like three of them now from Rust-Oleum and every single one of them doesn't matter how I apply it, how light I apply it, how thick I apply it, doesn't matter. It bubbles up. It, huh. As it dries, it just creates a bunch of bubbles 
and I have to basically start over. What's your needless first to say, I have three cans, and What's I have underneath it. Yeah, uh, the filler primer. By Rust Oleum or an off brand? Yeah, yeah, and no, everything, pretty much everything I use is Rust Oleum. Because I know that um, Krylon does that if you paint over Rust Oleum. Yeah, I'm. Pretty but if it's all Rust Oleum brand, it shouldn't do that. Yeah, it shouldn't do it. And hmm, I have to look now. I have pictures of them on my phone for when I go to the store, so I don't buy that anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I think we need to call it. I think we do too. I think I need to go to bed. Yeah, you do need to go to bed. Probably a good time for all of us. To... <laughs> I think I will. Yeah. yeah. Well, uh, again, Travis, if you want to relay this to Heather, thank you to the um, three of you for starting this a year ago with me. You know, uh, I, I missed the first one. I, I was at, yeah, I was at my sister's birthday party and I was all jealous. Everybody's together. And so the next week, I'm like, hey, are you oh, doing it right. again? Because Here's I missed out. What, Vicky's the reason why I went ahead and did it again the following week. You're right. <laughs> yeah. I forgot you, that. You remember the one that we did with Clayton and all that stuff on my channel? That was like the big party one that yeah. kind of blew it up. It was. That was the one where the whole yep. after two hours thing came from. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, anyways, uh, hopefully I'm still eligible for the present because I like it. Absolutely. <laughs> like I said, you were the one who messaged me. You were the very first one the very next day and said, uh, are you going to do that again next week? <laughs> <laughs> so, um, but yeah, thank you to all of you. You guys have either been regulars on it or helped get it started. Travis, even thank you to you because um, things like the Facebook group and stuff, you helped talk through that stuff with me to try to figure out how to, how to keep everything organized and everything. So, yeah. I appreciate it. And to everybody in the chat who's still here, thank you very much for coming and chatting and being involved in the streams. You guys are just as important in these streams as everybody on camera. So thank you, everybody. <laughs> yeah. And good night. Yes. Good night, guys. Good night, everybody. Thanks for having us. Absolutely. And thank you for this. This is awesome. Yep. Not a problem. Like I said, there is more coming. It, that's not the end you really of it. We don't have to send anymore. I know. <laughs> I, I wanted to. I don't have to. I actually have another idea that might come to Murph with the Friday Night logo to go on. Uh, John said he's going to set up a table again at Earth, too. I have an idea of something that I want to work on up to then um, as a display, but that'll be pretty neat if I can accomplish what I want to. But <laughs> I got to find the time. <laughs> so, all right, I'm going to end the stream now. Uh, thanks again, everybody in the chat. And thanks to everybody who joined in tonight and who's joined in in the last year for the Friday night hangouts. Yeah, thank you.